Let's see how this goes. Let's see how this goes, and uh, if it doesn't go well, I might come back in like two hours from now. Anything there useful? Doesn't look like it. I think we can sell everything. Fine work. Grab Galvanic Arrow, let's sell everything else. Let's grab Turbo again, really? Scale Vest. I'm down for Scale Vest. Scale Vest is so OP. It's actually insane how strong Skelvis is. To a point where I feel like they should nerf it. <laughs> I mean, maybe there is no point in nerfing it because it just makes Mudflats bearable, but like... How is this, how is this in line with anything else? Do not have extra green socket. Okay, let's see. Let's see. I don't care about the blue zombies. Stop hitting me. Are carrying scale vest OP. I should try to proc my momentum even here, probably. It's just hard. What are these rust? Extra life? That's probably worth killing. Uh, let's grab that. What do we need to buy when we go to town? Let's think, Chad. We need Frost Blink. We need War Banner. Is that it? Is that where the list ends? Or is there more? I think that's it. Oh, uh, wait. Sh snipe either Mark or the Ballista as well. Whichever one you don't get as a quest reward. Uh, do 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 ballista that sell this sell this 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 sell that. Farewell. Quicksilver, Mirage Archer, Frostblink, War Banner. Uh, where's Sniper's Mark? There, Sniper's Mark, and chance to bleed. That was not the worst thing I've ever done in my life. So I will take that.
Oh, we needed quiver. Uh, chance to bleed. Oh, we need we need all of these. Gimme, 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 gimme. Giga transmutes. Dash there. Ballista there. You go there, you go there. Okay, I think we have everything that we needed. Right now. Like needed, needed. There's more to equip soon. When playing a class, you're not comfortable playing early game. It's just so rough. There's so much stuff to do early game. Large life. Okay. And those gloves. That's really good. You can put in sniper's mark. Give me the wisdom. Um, uh, I do want to use those boots if I can. They're just slightly better than the ones I have. Portal scroll, portal scroll. I'm a little over leveled here. I'm not doing affliction at all in these runs. Because we're not gonna have it next week. Okay, this is going surprisingly decent. So far. I need two more levels so I can equip the Warbanner and the Frost Blank. Burning Arrow kinda doesn't matter. Momentum definitely doesn't matter. Iron Rings and Rustic Sage would be okay. An Essence of like Hatred or something would be okay. Even Content would be decent. But we don't need it, need it. Uh, anything we need, need. I don't think so. A Chance Orb. I don't actually think you need a chance or I'm pretty sure you get oh actually no you need it for blast rain or later at least for blast rain I think storm rain is 28 as well okay that went not as bad as I thought it would go but it does Let's put it that way. A lot of depths. Don't know where to go here. I think it's there. It looks like it's here. Okay, we good. And you can have multiple ballistas, I forgot. For some reason I was just placing down one. Okay, that was not bad. Uh... Sure. Let's sell everything. 
Let's sell those, those, that. This needs to go, this needs to go. Bam. Uh, you go there. You go there. You get de equipped. Get me added called. Added called. Added called there. You go there. That's the wrong gem. Shabna Ballista, Sniper's Mark. Dash, doesn't matter. Okay. That went decent. I don't think I forgot anything important. Give me my Rustic Sash, give me my Long Ball. But Lombo is... Okay, that's usable. That's not good, but it's usable. You can drop chance to bleed. Is the end game plan skill for this? Lightning arrow. How we get there? Not sure yet. Belief is the strongest metal. I'll worry about that in a bit. Doesn't seem that important right now. Rare long bow, maybe? Actually, using Sniper's Mark early on seems really, really good. I always forgot about it every time I played Ranger. Oh, I'm already level 10. Okay. That's huge. Level 10 before Brutus. Um, this probably can never get used. This can probably never get used. This is worthless. I'll sell the Wisdoms to ID. I'm not gonna level either of those two. Do I have more banner stacks? I have exactly 11. That's pretty much nothing. Wisdom. I might have said wisdom, I meant portal. I mean, that damage during war banner is good. It's not good once the war banner is over, but. During war banner, it was good. Uh, Blink arrow, yes. Sell everything there, 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 you. Uh, I think that's better. Um, I'm so slow. Play the game, play faster, please! Need to drop added cult. Why did I think they had shared cooldown? Cross blink and blink arrow. It just shows you how much ranger I play. Oh yeah, I'm using Rain of Arrows while leveling for sure. I think it's like way nicer. I'm gonna be real. When you are actually like hard focused, ranger act one is not as painful as I thought it was. Like, I always, whenever I level Ranger, I, like, kinda don't care. Doesn't seem bad, honestly. It seems like okay. Large mana, gimme, gimme.
Yeah, we're move speed, that's fine. I have no idea. Oh, just kidding. I know exactly where it is. As I said. I knew exactly where I was going the entire time and I didn't have to think at all. And didn't get lucky at all. Acceleration? No, rip. I don't think we actually loot the free green longbow. Or longbow is decent enough that we would not use an essence on a longbow. So I think I'm just going to leave it there on the ground. This might be a dead end. Yeah. I should have realized that. You go there. I'll take that. Kind of half C, but we made it past. Even if we got frozen. Go the rare. I think it's worth it. Nice. Sell everything there. And we go Reign of Arrows. Um, bottom or top? I never remember. 15. Attack speed accuracy. I think it's the accuracy notes, honestly, here. Well, no, we, we're going to be low on percent damage for a long time. Uh, do, 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 you go there, you go there. We cannot use the skeletons right now. I will keep it there for now. Uh, uh, do, 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 rain of arrows, bam, bam. Sell everything else. Skill point. Take the skill point, thank you. I don't think I ever equip Galvanic Arrow again, so I can drop that. Uh, you go there. Okay, this is where the run actually starts being fun, right? I get to use a good skill. I actually really like Rain of Arrows for some reason. I don't know why. I can't really put my finger on it. But it's like, I mean, maybe it's because every time I level with Rain of Arrows, it's with like full leveling gear. So of course I would like it, but uh, I'm getting lost. Level 13. We are a little over leveled, but time doesn't even seem bad for being this high of a level. This is a dead end. It's gonna be like slightly above 20. For me being bad at Ranger, this is like acceptable. It's very acceptable actually. 13 and a half too. I'm gonna go live notes. I'm not a non live note believer. I'm sorry. You wanna watch the zero live note run? There is the Havoc runs. Oh, the Ballista range is very low. Good to know. Stop trolling! Marivelle, stop trolling me, please. Your love 
This was no MS too, right? Still no MS. I don't know if I'm equipping those boots. Where is... Where is the den here? I think it's bottom right. Should have put down a portal, I regret not doing so. Uh, do, 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 you go there. Do I have his dumps? I don't. Oops, I am wrong on it. That's kinda lucky though. Think I looted the augment? I don't know, I didn't. I thought I would hit a useful mod, but it doesn't seem like there's anything useful there. Maybe that essence was not the best use there. Maybe it should have been on... Oh, it's one of those rare left side layouts. Rip. Wait, I'm trolling, right? Oh, no, 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 it's not... Oh, dude, get me out of this... Get me out of this run. Uh, Quicksilver. Sell all that, sell that. That's pretty good, Quicksilver. How am I never getting a mess, man? Damage? I mean, I had a shrine. Free shrine. I did like three rare boots, two magic boots. Should be guaranteed MS by now, copy him. You guys ready? Are you guys pre-typing for the skip? When I say pre-typing, I mean the mouse obviously, nothing else, but... Fastest way to level bow champion? Probably Peacock if I had to guess. Or like splitting steel or something. Not sure. That's a lot of fucking plague masks. Oh my god, my inventory is a mess! First try! Holy. Not washed. Can learn new tricks, that means I'm not old. Come on, 
Come on, MS. How? None of these boots have MS. This is wild. Actually, wild. I need to keep that helmet. Okay, I need to clean my inventory. Oh, get a blood rage. Where is blood rage? I don't see it there. Uh, you go there, you go there, you go there, you go there, you go there. Sell one of you. Grab me some double herald action. Actually, let's only herald of thunder. Okay, that's a pretty good drink. I have not played last book. We baited Ben into League. I thought he was quitting League yesterday already and loading up Valo. What's changed? I said I would rather play League than Dota though. I think it would be more fun to learn League than relearn Dota. I feel like relearning games you used to play is kind of just not fun. Honestly. Because you, you are making like zero progress for too long, for way too long. Oh my god, this is loot. You can use Trinity there. Uh, sure. The League 10 man. Yeah, I can imagine. In houses are always fun in these games. I should use this just because more sockets good. In my inventory, run her out of thunder there. Talk to Einhar. I'm helping Alira again, right? I think I'm helping Alira again. Chad, how do I figure out whether I'm gonna have Trinity or not? I have no idea what's, what's on my like items at all. Like I have no idea what my bow has. <laughs> 350 HP ready for act eight, true. Total of DPS, no one has time to check that. Level 18. Uh, grab the quick step. Okay, you can talk shit about a lot of stuff in League. Saying it doesn't require skill, it's a huge cove, okay? If anything, when it comes to mechanical skill, it probably requires more than Dota. Since you need faster reaction times in general. This is gonna be a good old because Acceleration Shrine. You don't use Trinity? Yeah, but the problem is my... I guess I could move. No, but it doesn't make sense. I can't really move my gems. I'm gonna use Trinity whether it works or doesn't work. Let's 
That's the problem. I'm always using Trinity. Am I going for deathless run? No, but I don't want to have a lot of deaths. I'm going like, you know... Like, for example, on DD I had three, I think. On Bone Cheddar I had one. Just playing that way. I don't know. I hate the hole. Oh, I'm just gonna die 20 times. That's not the plan. It's just not fun for me to play that way. Also, I have eight transmutes. That's huge. We need those in Act 3. I'm like so fucking rich. For Act 2. The only thing I don't have is Wisdoms. I'm gonna skip one with nature for now and grab it later. Because I won't point blank for a while. Or sorry, not point blank, precise technique for a while. I don't know if I can actually get enough. Yeah, we'll see. Enough accuracy. I should play invisible blood rage and left click it. I'm too bad at pressing it. This whole thing might be a dead end. I did not check top left. It probably is a dead end too. I don't know why I didn't check. I always check. I was on an autopilot. Full clearing Weaver's Chamber, no big deal. Yeah, it actually, actually got punished for not checking. Deserved. Always check love first. Wait, this is a dead end too. No, it's not. Continues down. I'm level 20 at Weaver. Holy shit, I just realized I'm level 20 at Weaver. What? Okay, we have a problem here. I might be way too overleveled. Whatever, it's fine. Just play the game. Accuracy check, 436. We're gonna get low level precision here. Uh, so this, 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 this. Grab Trinity. Grab weapon elemental damage. How does weapon like that? Thank you. I sold the, sold the bow. I mean, my bow is good enough for now, anyways, but. I shouldn't have sold it, I should have ID'd it first. Ah, oh, wait, Essence. Okay, we need to do a quick socket check. Can we buy Mana Forge and Snaring? I feel like we can right now. Can we? No, we cannot. Because I'm running precision. Still missing that. I don't think we can actually. That's fine. So this is a precision socket. 
I still don't have MS, by the way. This is some bullshit. Trinity Brocking, it's not right now. Looks like I have too much, what, fire damage? Or something? Yeah, too much fire. Need a new bow. I mean, again, there's no other socket I can use instead of Trinity. So it doesn't really matter whether it's broken or not. Oh, precision and... that. Level check, uh, sorry, resist check, it's good enough. Um, I think it's up. I think it's up and around. I think it's this layout. Is it? it looks like it. I mean, listen, both Junk and Havoc have been in Act 3 on the tooling anyways. So it's not like it matters whether my turn it is on or not. I mean, it's gonna start proking eventually. It's just, I don't have a way to fix it right now. This is gonna work out perfectly for WoW. I'm gonna be level 22. At least. 22, that seems pretty good. I mean, maybe you want to say one socket somewhere, or sorry, one level somewhere. I don't know where you would save it, though. Because ideally it would be 21, right? I mean, I, I think it's just literally hit 22. It's better play here. Uh, accuracy check. We have 730. Okay, so we can actually afford to take some life nodes. I'm gonna take the... Um, take skin, and then grab the mastery there. For 50 life, and then I'm gonna start clicking damage nodes again. And then we wanna make it in a way that we reach point blank before Dominus. Ideally point blank before Piety. Which I'm not 100% sure if I can get, actually. I don't think I can. But we can definitely get it before Dominus. I have a Contempt Descent. I would not mind getting a bow right here. Uh, I have two augments. I need a third one somehow. Was that an augment? It was an augment. Thank God I backtracked for it. I almost skipped it. Okay, no MS for Stranger Run, it's gonna be like 22, I think I'm okay, uh, 42, I mean, I'm okay with that, honestly. Especially this overleveled. I mean, is it a good time? No, of course it's not a good time, but... It's okay for where my experience on Ranger is.
And my current situation too. Because we have a lot of currency. Eh? What's up, Hubo? How is it going? Okay, you go there. Uh, I did this, that. Okay, that's a perfect belt for now. Everything else can be an ID. Uh, we craft MS. We craft Coldress there. We craft Coldress on the gloves too, and Fire Rest somewhere else. Fire is... I don't know where. My single target is not good. Surprisingly. I think that's worth it, to drop the Herald of Thunder. Because we need Anger anyways. Move speed. Oh, fuck. Never mind. I misread that. That's sad. I did not grab the moose speed did I? Fuck. That's the main reason why I went into the hideout. Okay, we have seven transmutes. We need at least, what, two more? No, at least one more. Wait, does Ranger get anger by default? Actually, or do you have to do library? You can buy anger, okay. So I guess you like take grace, buy anger. That works. Need a new bow. Bow kind of needs to be feeling, which is. Unoptimal. Oh, it doesn't have to, but I did not click that. I hate left click bot rage. I'm not doing it. I'm just gonna press it once per zone. Surely, surely I won't forget. Uh, 733 life is what? 469, okay. Actually, I really like mirror, uh, sorry, blink arrow while leveling. It feels kind of good. Even before the cooldown recovery, it feels pretty good. It's 
not as bad as I thought it would be. Four. So we buy anger here. Dude, I can't. Uh, Grace, are leveling it. They're leveling the anger. I need a new helmet, probably. New helmet, new bow. Wait, did the belt have mana or life? Mana, okay, I can craft life next time I go to hideout. I didn't realize that was the case. I really just thought it was live the whole time. Grab that. One extra red gem. Kinda fixes the issue. Problem is my body armor is kinda good. But I think uh, sockets are more important. What we could do I guess is use grace for now. I do not wanna use grace though. There's a green gem that gives you damage. I know I could, I could use haste as much as I, <laughs> I really don't want to. I could use haste for now. There's no way you're making it to 10 out of 10 before I'm done with this trial, I'm sorry. Uh, bow. Uh, sure. Fire damage again. That kind of doesn't solve any of these issues. Wait, and that body armor. And that body armor. Uh, can I, what can I use? Let's think, chat. I can recolor this. I 
That is what I should do. Seven thirty nine. How much do we have? We have five hundred. Okay, we are fine. Go there. You go there. Mark of binding, GG. What do we what do we use Orb of Binding on of body armor? Has to be body armor, that has to be the answer. Like ZDPS right now. Okay, uh, where is it? I should probably from this. I do not like how much time I spend there, but whatever. Just kind of fix our socket issues. Next level we can, or sorry, in two levels we can equip that bow. Do I actually get the... Uh... Anything now? I do, nice. I don't have War Banner. I'm lost. That was definitely the wrong way. also the wrong way. Am I killing these? I was not worth killing. I was hoping for some rares. Okay, uh, what's my resist? It's fine, I'm just missing cold rest. It's not that big of a deal. This doesn't have an open prefix, no. But that means it's gonna be an easy to replace bow. Need one more level. I never could have fire damage, so I can just equip this. I don't know what that amulet has. 
I can't read that fast. Fire rest, all rest, that seems pretty good. And that's a really good amulet, actually. I can craft life there or flood. I don't know which one I should craft. Probably if I can flood. I think I will craft flood, actually. Am I 28? No, I'm not. Uh, I'm gonna go Imperial Gardens first, but I don't think I'm hitting 28 regardless. Nine twenty six. Okay, we can grab more live nodes. More resist nodes too. Actually, I should grab one with nature. No, we wanted point blank. Right. I don't even know if I get point blank for Dominus. Might not. I might not get there in time. How far away is point blank? Four points. It's level 30. I don't think I'm gonna be 30 at dumb. Maybe? I don't know. Not sure. I don't know why I'm... I mean, I guess my bow kind of sucks. I'm gonna say I don't know why I feel... I buy my so little DPS. I feel like I shouldn't be this low, but... My bow is kind of outdated by now. Actually, that's an understatement. My pilot is gonna be real bad unless I TP out and get the get the crafts. Actually, I actually think it's probably worth it to do. Actually, no. I'm gonna get a new bow. It's gonna be fine. I'm gonna hit twenty eight before pilot the easily. See? Okay, we are fine on damage now again. Uh, Herald of Thunder needs to go. One DPS on a caster? No. On an attack wonder, yeah, of course. It's not like it's any different from bow or axes or whatever, if you are actually attacking with the wand. Okay, we are actually pretty strong here. I think. Except we not getting Trinity again, but that is gonna get fixed, I'm not that worried. It's just temporary problems. Right? Surely it's just temporary problems. I'm gonna try to rush point blank. If I have it at 30, then it's worth to, to go for it. Because I think I will hit 30 right before Dominus. Actually, it's gonna be fine if I'm going lab first. 
Wait, there was a transmute and I actually need it. I didn't realize I needed it. I think I'm selling all of this and I did right here. What does my body armor have? Does it have anything on it? I actually don't remember. It might be white. Oh no, I used binding on it. Never mind, it cannot be white. Hello, damage? Please die before you TP. Thank you. Um, lightning damage to attack, spam, lightning damage to attack, spam, but life. Be careful. Uh, skill point, ballista. I don't think we care about the gold dress right now. We can fix that later. Uh, artillery ballista. Okay. I hope we have enough damage to proc Trinity. If we don't, then we have a problem. And we have to recolor the body armor, I guess. No, looks like Trinity is working. Good. Just killing that for XP. There's a bow. I don't know if that flame blast would one shot me. There's not a single calm unique I actually care about. Sorry, I'm not gonna sit there and wait for the calm's heart to drop. Uh, accuracy check thousand. We are fine. We are more than fine. Next level up, we get uh, point blank, right? Yeah. Oh wait, we already have point blank. Even never mind. We should be like giga deeps now. Like giga giga deeps. Okay, it's not as high as I was hoping. I'm gonna be real. That is not giga deeps. Left side. What's on my uh, body armor? No, open anything. Next notes are onslaught notes. Oh, that's huge. Our socket bow is huge. I need like an essence or an alchemy or something. I'm gonna wait a little bit. I don't have that many fast charges to spam my fast suck. Oh, I should get the blink arrow mastery. Chromes, nice. Yeah. 
And then we go like metal ish. Wait, no, it's gonna be right. I think it's gonna be right. I'm gonna loot the diamond flask in case I do like oh last minute I actually realize I can't fucking play without going crit. This is not the right way, I don't know why I'm going here. That's a lot better than the bow I'm using. My bow has accuracy, but not a lot. Much loot. Too much loot. Before the goddess of justice, you are rustic sash. Scour, receive our blessing, rustic sash. Embrace our gifts. Uh, did I ascend? Bam, bam. <sighs> okay, now we clean up the inventory. Oh my god, what the fuck is that quiver? And it's really good too. That's even better. Can, can I craft colders anywhere? Craft colders on that, I guess. Can craft colders there. I'm gonna be real. This is fine. Okay, that was a lot of loot. I mean, you can argue the time is shit, and you would be right, but our character's not, at least. I'm gonna go with that, I think. I don't think I'm good enough at using Blink Arrow to actually use the cooldown recovery. I changed my mind. Especially because I looted a Feathered Arrow Quiver. Uh, I have a question. Do you guys know if that uh, Vetcraft can be crafted on Quiver? The one that you can craft on Rings? 972 accuracy. Oh, actually, I guess I can just craft Flat on that Quiver once I get enough transmutes. Flat what? Is the question. I need these outs. I'm gonna craft attack speed. I mean, flat lightning, right? Has to be the answer. It's always lightning. Because Lightning is the best for Trinity. By far, like it's never bad. I mean, Cold is nice and all, but yeah. I think I have double the HP that Havoc had in here. <laughs> Do I out the bow? 150 attack speed, but no, I don't think I do. My bow is like acceptable. I think I, I don't think that's worth it. 
I wanna out the rank instead. That's no, outing a ring is a mistake. Especially because I'm not changing the other ring anytime soon. I think I just keep the alchemy for later. Oh! That is one way to get a rare ring. Live strength, fire damage, that's not too bad. Could be worse. I mean, I basically only lost like, what, 10 minutes of my time to get here. To double my HP. Because my power is definitely, like, I don't think I have less damage than Havok did. I definitely don't, do not feel like I have less damage than Havok had. Better Ballista? Not really, because I need these two reds, so not really. Also, better Ballistas right now don't actually do much. That bow looks crazy good. I think. 140. I don't know, crazy good might have been overstating, but it seems good. Craftable attack speed. I need to read the... Uh, Read the mods on it again. Tier 7, tier 6. Tier 7, tier 6. Like the same. I don't think it's actually better than the one I have. I think I'm not bothering with that. A late drain. A million creatures lost. Just as those stars. And to turn into LA. Probably not switching into LA un until maps. Honestly. I know some people do it earlier, but I haven't really planned it, so it would just be annoying to change my gear twice. Holy bindings. I've never seen this many bindings in one run. Uh, gloves. I mean, these are already... Uh, do, 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 do. what am I doing? Uh, attack speed. Gloves are better than these gloves. For sure. I should just equip them. Even if it makes me lose that for now. I don't think I need the damage on the totems for a little bit. Accuracy check, 979. Where, when are we getting more accuracy? Not anytime soon, right?
I could grab Vetted Hunter. I should grab Vetted Hunter, honestly, for now. Resist is good. Did I just almost one-shot that rare? Pretty sure I almost did. I need new boots. That's the next upgrade. Okay, those gloves work perfectly. No, they don't. Fuck. I'll save them for later. Does Ranger get LA focus? I think you probably do. And do you get emulate? Those are two questions that I have. And if I'm aware enough to know the answers to either of those, oh, I should have looted the boots. I'm gonna actually go back and loot the boots. I would think Ranger gets LA focus. I would be surprised if it didn't. I feel like that would be weird if you didn't. Guys, I have a feeling Havok went a little overkill on damage <laughs> on this skill tree. Like, what the fuck do I need more damage for than this? Hello? I mean, maybe later I will change my mind on this. No such thing as too much damage? There definitely is. I think that's too much damage. Okay, that helmet's good. Really? Where do I get Ignite Chance? I don't. Don't die, please. You hit enough that I don't think it matters on a slot. I will have. 20% chance to ignite later.
Oh yeah, you do need emulate. Like the thing is, though, you don't need to like. You only need it on single target, right? If it's on ballistas. I'm not worried that my single target is not going to be ignited with how many times you hit. I'm not going for the skip. I, w I guarantee you the skip would lose me time because I would miss it like twice. Those gloves are kind of good to keep. Um... Okay, we are like giga fine on every single stat. Can grab colders on the gloves. I can't craft anything on the ring. I mean, I guess I could craft damage. I'm gonna level Lightning Arrow after this and grab Ellie Focus. Thank god I didn't look out there. That would have been a Giga Tilt angle. I hope you get elemental focus chat. You don't. GG. Uh, wasting time because I didn't know. That sucks. Minus five hours. Um, lightning arrow. And I forgot the crafts. Okay. We are pretty good though. It's gonna be like 130 Malakai. Holy shit, we are so done. But if I just reset and go again, ah, nah, I don't really wanna go through the first few acts again. It's too much thought process to actually do it. So we are kinda done gearing until like then. So that's, that's nice. And the only thing that's actually worth changing now is balls, I think. Is that true? I think that statement's probably true. I mean, boots. Boots and bow. Yeah, thanks for the 100 bits. <laughs> you got it at Ventrua. Much appreciate it. I mean, the run is honestly good, it's just slow. But like, everything in the run just felt good so far, right? Like, it's not like... The only time I felt like I had low damage was like, what, Gravishes, I guess? Just before the 28 ball. 
Try it's the only time I feel like even remotely low damage. Hmm. I guess we go here first. Um, we should have entered MS. This is the wrong popping. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Does not matter too much. You see what happens when you hunt dreams, I'm assuming you don't get emulet either. I would be surprised if you got immolate. That's Ranger. That's fine, we can play a tooling totem for a while. Uh, so we have double that. I mean, we should at least level them, there's no reason not to. The helmet having open red sockets is really good because it makes uh, it easier to replace my bow. My bow literally only needs to have one green, that's it. Oh, that's Giga 3, okay. I can just change bow at any point. I think the socket setup this way is really good. I should probably just get some random ass boots from the ground and binding them. Or just loot rare boots that are gonna have 20 MS on them right here. 20 MS, 40 life. 15 MS? I mean, not bad. I didn't need to log out. I got scared. I did not need to log out there. I thought I was frozen for some reason. But I think it was just a stun. I mean, I've, I'm starting to feel like I went overkill on damage. <laughs> I was saying Havok went overkill, but I'm starting to feel like I went overkill on damage too. Are both actually just OP? They might be. and cold dress that's fine i can crap life there i just need lightning dress somewhere i don't think i can get lightning dress anywhere though probably body armor needs to be different i could recraft on the eh no what level is this 41 I should have ended there first, that's fine. Uh, I have to keep checking my accuracy. 1565, we are fine for a while. And we have access to accuracy mastery too. Did I ever finish taking up the onslaught wheel? I did. Okay, we good. I guess bow base doesn't matter much, right? Or like level of the bow base doesn't matter that much. Like this could have been easily good. Since the flat should be useless by now.
defense. Why am I so overcapped on fire us? I mean, I guess I can get a different ring. What should my ring have? It's either Topaz or Cold and Lightning. I think it's probably Cold and Lightning. Golden Lightning in my inventory. I was always... Oh, it was 12. I should have probably grabbed Topaz there then. Uh, I saw live. I didn't see the rest of the stats. Maybe I should have read the rest of the stats. It is accuracy. All attributes, fire rest, life, some flat. Not a lot of flat, but some. Hey, that guy is so tanky. Wisdom situation solved. And click it. Okay, I'm rest capped now. Well, I'm gonna be rest capped when I hit 41, so I can just go straight to Kitava. I mean, I'm already over leveled, anyways. Do I need to craft anything anywhere? Um, it's just life on the boots, which I don't think matters. Like 20 life there. That's nothing. Probably just not bother going to my hideout. Life or damage? Damage? Yeah, you guys are right. Let's take damage. Sixteen fifty-five. My body armor doesn't have life. I'm gonna actually get so much. Doesn't look like it does. Okay. Ah. Uh, damn. This turn's kind of playing itself now. I think with going better hunter, I might be able to play Warbanner instead of Precision, which would be really good. Because Warbanner is OP. Can I set up my mana forge in the boots? Um, 
No, I don't have dead man extra, so it gets, doesn't look like it. And it would probably just mean that replacing them is like way more annoying. Okay. You go there, you go there, you go there. There's this check. Oh, we are super good. You can probably start grabbing some life. 1659. Yeah, and super fine. Gonna have like 1500 life on Kitava. I should start rolling my flask. Next phase. Eleven outs. Okay, we got a CB plus. That's good enough, I think. We keep this one and we try to look for a second one. I don't really want to roll over bleed removal. Time to cook some Valdo builds without charms and stuff. I mean, isn't it still Pathfinders? You just lose some flask effect. Like, I don't know if it really is changing that much. The real question is what is going to replace Penance Brand as the DPS skill of choice? Weeping Essence of Hatred. Oh god, let's go. Now, now I need to find a good bow. Good bow base. Why am I focusing? Eh, whatever. Is that? 42. You go there. No, that build is not a Valdo build at all. It has no mitigation against dots. That is not a Valdo build. Or at the very least, it's not a, like, feared Valdo build. Fifteen MS. Don't care. Not good enough. We changed. I don't know if that blue pack died. Probably didn't. I need to clean my inventory here. I'm gonna TP out. Ah, uh, 
clean my inventory. Okay. I'm mostly fixed. I'm pretty much actually fixed. I don't actually need anything else. Let's grab some life. I need to be careful with the life. Should have put the portal down sooner. No, I'm getting worse, not you getting better, I'm sorry to say. That's uh I should be about ten minutes faster at least. It's just I haven't tried speed leveling ranger in forever. And I mean to be fair, I did go out of my way to make this nicer rather than faster. Like obviously playing with 400 life would end up being faster, right? Well, I don't know if it would end up. I would probably die because I'm not Havoc. But... Honestly, this Kitawa time, like my Act 5 time is pretty good. Because my Malakai time was really bad. But uh, from Malakai to Kitawa, it's only like 15 minutes or so. So it's faster than like Bone Shadow or DD has been... In this part, in this part of the run, I'm gonna log out here. Actually, am I gonna log out? No, I'm not. Pretty nice, though. I mean, it should be about ten minutes faster. I think the one thirty that Havoc does is well. I mean, not even ten minutes faster, honestly. It should be like 140. I would be okay with 140 on a class that I don't main. Looks like range is pretty good though for leveling memes aside. Uh, give me an amethyst ring. Uh, do you have a good bow? No, you don't. Resist check. Oh, we are Giga Overcup. We can go there. Honestly, felt fine even before Telvin. I mean, just when you get to Piety and you click the Lightning Craft and then you just craft it, if you collected a lot of Transmutes, it starts feeling good. That's my experience. What if we just turn this into a Roar run instead of Lightning Arrow? Am I gonna regret that statement? Probably would. Does lightning arrow require 20 quality? Or does it scale like proportionally? I don't remember what the wording on the quality was. I'm not going back for the odds even though I probably could have. Uh, accuracy check. 1700, be fine. No, but... Hold up, I'm gonna check the quality, actually. Okay, so you need at least 10. That's it, that's what it was. I wasn't, I didn't remember. Yeah, you need at least 10. Ideally. So it's 10 or 20. Am I gonna use the alchemy on this amethyst drink? I think so. It's awful. Of course it would be. And this is why we click live, because some of us are just bad at this game, okay? That right there is a perfect example. <laughs> XDD. I'm almost 44. 
So we don't have to worry about levels and time nodes. Exactly enough life nodes clicked. Yeah. Okay. So this is fine. I should roll a quicksilver in this time. I don't know why I don't do it. Mm. That roll is actually pretty bad, isn't it? It's like tier 7. That weeping essence. Maybe we just use it on a body armor and just try to ID a bow. Because uh, the cold dress is good enough on there. 147, eh, whatever. I mean, it's like 4 minutes slower than builds that I've played like 20 times. I think I'm okay with this. I don't think I'm gonna like reset over this. Especially because my gear is just set up all the way to luck like 10, pretty much. So I think I'm just gonna keep going. And I have two bindings to like fix any issues I have later. I'm gonna skip title. My belt is too good to replace and my amulet is good enough. For now. I might look for a better amulet later. I mean, okay, this is there, there's an argument to be made about Mana Forge being better than um, Ballistas because everything dies too fast for me to even place down Ballistas. But I guess if that's the problem, uh, I feel like... Hmm. Am I going to post a summary? I'm posting the VODs on the YouTube VOD channel, but no, I'm not like writing down a summary. I mean, if you have any questions where the runs, you can just ask, but... I think added cold is pretty bad. I think even faster attacks would be more damage than added cold. Right now. I wonder if that statement is correct. I kind of want to import this character into POV so I can check later. Sixty flat. Sixty flat has to be bad. It just has to be. <laughs> There's like 0% chance added cult is a link I should be running right now. Um, Trinity should always be fire lightning. It should never be cold. Early game at least. It should never be cold. It just doesn't make sense. Yeah, Replica Covenant would be fucking huge. Or the, you know, here is. But I, I hope I don't get here is in this run. Because then everyone would be like, just get here is low, mao. I mean, I would still use it. It doesn't really depend on the boss, that's what that's what I mean. Because you can you craft lightning damage and you use anger, right? So your damage should always be fine. Like your trinity should always be fine. Unless you are a haste enjoyer, then I guess it's different, but No no no, when I say Heres, I mean the body armor, not the quiver. The quiver is not even that good. It would be nice to get early though. Now it's probably a little too late for it because my quiver is kinda good. Don't worry, I know about I know of the recipe. I do not remember it though. If you ask me right now, I know it's a okay, let me let me try to think about it. It's a amulet, onyx amulet. I think it's rare, but I'm not hundred percent sure. Uh, it's a chance or GCP uh, rain of arrows, like any quality rain of arrows. Um, and a fuse, maybe? 
Nah, probably not. Probably just a chance. I do not remember. Like, if I sit at the vendor, I would figure it out, but... Ah, oh, I missed the gold mask rip. I mean, it's not like I can do it. I don't have the GCP. And it's also getting to a point where my quiver is too good to replace by like a quiver that has no stats. But it is really nice early on, for sure. Sorry, when I say no stats, I mean no resist. I think I'm going to play with a Warbanner instead of Precision. I think I'm going to keep Vetted Hunter and play with Warbanner. I think Warbanner is just too fucking good. If you can be bored using Warbanner, I think it's like one of the best gems in the game. Or the reservation, even without the uh, fist damage mattering. Oh my god, really? I'm just swimming in currency this run, I guess. I don't know if I can kill that soul eater. Chance that bind, hey? I don't really care about the Soul Eater. I just want to open that. This might honestly not be worth it. Uh, you know what? It probably was. No, it probably was worth it. I got decent XP too. Maybe I should have looted a little more there. That Topaz ring is really good. Did I say Topaz ring? It's not even a Topaz. I think it is. Why did I think it was a Topaz rank? Wait, no, it was a Topaz rank. <laughs> XCD. Guys, I'm not losing it, by the way. Those boots are okay. I can grab a mess on them. Still sane? Definitely not. Accuracy check again. 1724. We are a little close on the, you know, not enough accuracy. I will probably just click the master so I don't have to think about it soon. Oh, first try. Reign of Heroes LP confirmed. I cannot wear that, there's no way. Um, look to you. Uh, um, determination. You 
simulate focus. Um, I need some red sockets here. Uh, do, 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 do. I, I can't think. I'm just gonna equip this. I don't care. I don't think that's good enough. Man, <laughs> I entered the zone and you know what played in my head? The clip of Havok in Summit Map. Oh my god, clip was so good. Just dying to the gods while TPing out. <laughs> uh. I don't... What's my attack speed? No, this is not even worth finding, I think. He's just TPing and these ghosts that spawn here just like one shot him, jumping on him. On his like, did I run? It's just a funny rip. I think... I think I will grab the attribute craft here, because you kinda do need attributes on this. Why am I leveling Grace? Am I ever, ever equipping Grace in this run? I mean, maybe if I just feel like Determination does nothing. Or if I don't have the strength for it. How bad are slams? I mean, this like, slams are kind of playable because you can get a lot of Warcry cooldown recovery on charms. It's actually not even bad. It's a cluster, I'm not backtracking for a cluster. Leaves now groundbreaking. Funny funnily enough, I saw some guy playing Gleaves in fucking Gauntlet. I play slams and you can play DD. That's a bad sentence to say, but the real question should be why play slams when you can play Bone Cheddar? It has a real problem with slams and like any melee skill, really. That's not enough, really. Whiteforge, Consecrate... That sounds like a Quinn build. Which doesn't necessarily mean it's bad, it just sounds like something Quinn would play. Or at the very least wanna play and then never get Whiteforge. They start appearing in zone level 16, the Wildwood NPCs. So, Broken Bridge, I guess? I should grab Focus Ballistas, I think. I should grab Focus Ballista instead of added cold. I will do it next time I go to town. Unless I forget again, it's possible. Broadhead Quiver. 
Um... I don't have a need for this Wild Orb this run. That's funny, that's exactly why I pressed it. It's honestly almost good enough. There's like no way you equip a cluster in a short run like this. If my quiver wasn't like insane, that would have been definitely good enough. I have four skill points. What do I use them on? If I wanna craft, uh, sorry, if I wanna grab any more life. Okay, what I could do is I could drop precision. Oh, I, uh, I don't know about that statement. That statement does not sound correct. I was gonna say I could drop precision for, for grace. But I feel like it would complicate too many things at once. There's no way this is a dead end. Oh yeah, I wanted long shot. That's what I wanted. Oh, this is why you swap to lightning arrow, right? It's because you get far shot. In cruel up. That's why people swap in, in cruel. That makes so much more sense now. Because you don't want to play point blank anymore. It's more XP. I have a feeling this doesn't really need XP. I'm literally zone level. Like, <laughs> I'm pretty sure, like, I could be in, like, Act 9 right now, and my XP, okay, Act 8, end of Act 8, and my XP would be fine. Uh, okay, I will swap to, which means I need to get projectiles. Was broken. Honestly... I'm gonna be real with you. I think this run doesn't feel bad at all, even from like hardcore perspective. And Pierce, I do need Pierce, that's true. So I need Pierce and projectiles. Pierce is actually more important, kinda, not really. Hmm. I'm just gonna start fixing the popping slowly but surely. Alchemy. Is it good? It's not good enough. Why am I not using mana for frenzy? Because I have blood rage. Don't really need it. And it's an extra socket compared to Blood Rage. Minus one Alg, true. I don't even think Blood Rage is bad while it gets you Leech too. I mean, I'm not really in a rush to switch, switch to Lightning Arrow. It's not like Reign of Arrows feels bad. 
The reason I went for long shot is because I already have the bowmaster that gives you damage per projectile speed. Because my quiver is feathered. Thing of that, I kind of wish it was a better roll. I mean, you can do anything. I'm pretty sure. Most your single target comes from totems, anyways. We all know that. The blink arrow. Yeah, I considered it. I feel like I don't need it. 180 fire res. Yeah, I'm stacking fire res for the little fire mastery. <laughs> no, I don't know. My gear just has a lot of resist. I'm almost ready for act and Kitava, honestly, with this gear. Okay, I need to get focus ballista. This added cold is strange. There's literally no point in having it there. I think this has open suffix. Right? Yeah, it does. I don't think you should ever use Ballista added gold, actually. I think it should always be Immolite. Like, added gold, added lightning is just bad. Immolite, that's it. I expect charms to be forever gone after the siege is over. Kind of like uh, sanctified relics. I mean, you can kind of check by ripping a charm to standard from hardcore. I'm pretty sure you just don't have them. That which was taken will stay in standard though. I'm pretty sure. Joe was different. Yeah, but I think the fact that they get deleted when you rip from hardcore kinda implies that they are not gonna go core. Even like because if they plan to make it go core, they wouldn't delete them on the rip. It's basically how you can tell usually. Oh really? Do they actually get capped when you have done? Oh, maybe I'm wrong then. And the course life charms are not the reason why corpse skills are good. Course life charms are not even the best charms. Like on a min max character, you should only have one corpse life charm. But actually, you might want to have zero. Because other charms are just better. 
It's only 20% more damage per charm. Well, not even 20, it's slightly less than that. I deleted my rucksack and the charms inside it of oh, where I mean there is culling, there is Herald of a uh, sorry, there is uh, covered in ash, there is uh, frenzy on hit, there is minimum shock. Minimum shock is probably the best charm. Depending on your build obviously, but on, on elementalist. That is the best one there. Da, 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 checking 1790. I mean, why am I being so greedy? Just fucking click the accuracy mastery. It's fine. Like, does it really matter whether I click it one level later? No, it doesn't. Just click it now. My inventory is a mess. I need to clean it. Missing out on loot. Live per speed damage. Oh, that's almost insane. How am I? How am I adding? I mean, quivers are kind of easy to roll, actually. So I guess I shouldn't be surprised. I would say quiver is like one of the easiest items to roll in this video game. But do you guys agree? Like, getting like a good quiver or decent quiver, whatever. It just doesn't really have bad mods. The same way a lot of other items do. Six socket? Oh, but it's shit one. There were boots that I should have looted, probably. Okay. I haven't crafted. No, I don't mean even crafting. I mean just to like loot from the ground. I'm not talking like endgame quivers. But endgame quivers are honestly kind of easy to. Compared to other items. Very deterministic. Well, except the uh, synthesized ones. Those are not that determinist. <laughs> Those are not that deterministic. But not my problem. Accuracy check. Two point seven. Okay, we have kick accuracy. Uh is there any master that I want here? Probably not, not right now at least.
turn one. Yeah, there's a. Till next time, shall we keep, Savior? Fuck are those boots? You suck. So I could do lap now, but I don't think I'm even close to respecting to LA yet. How many points did, do I need again? I don't know. I can't do the math. I can respect one and then I can get two extra from point blank. Well, it's not actually two extra. To click these two points. I did not find Dread Ticket there, right? I don't remember finding a Dread Ticket at least. Wait, did I just go past Dread Ticket and not put down a portal? Maybe I did. I genuinely don't remember. What is this? Cold damage, right? Yeah. Was it cold? Was the Dread Ticket close to Waypoint? Yeah, whatever. I was just making you instance, get some XP, doesn't matter. Does not actually matter. Curse on head rank. There's no way you put it on this. Go towards middle here. Didn't make a new one. Oh, okay, I see the dread ticket though. We good. I was hoping it would connect to get some XP, but it's fine. It connects. Okay, so I need seven slots that will fit no problem. I need to do the math in my head again. So Pierce is four points. Um uh, plus one error is six points and then another five. I get two extra. I'm missing quite a bit, actually. I think I'm gonna switch. in Act 8 rather than Act 7. I think that makes more sense here rather than um, getting like all fast flustered about it. Sounds like way too much effort to switch right now. Uh, Jade Flask.
Oh, wait, I could unspike. How many points? I have seven unspike points. Okay, maybe I could switch, like, kind of soon. I need to do the Einhard quest here. At least try to... Can get three more points. LA is still good without PRC, but so is, uh, so is Reign of Arrows. It's not, like, I know I could play Lightning Arrow, right? But I don't really want to switch unless it's, like, actually necessary slash, like, better. Star V bless the quiver. LA, you level faster. I don't know if that's true. Every time I try LA. Even with Twin Gear, it feels so much worse than Reign of Arrows, it's not even funny. Until, like, late in the Axe. And even even in the Axe, honestly, until maps, basically, it feels worse. The only reason people sometimes hate Rain of Arrows is because they go kind of cooked skill tree where they like, you know, travel for like LA stuff early, like plus arrows and stuff. That you don't need here at all. The one advantage of plus arrows is that it makes artillery ballista better. So LA is probably more single target. Please die, please die, please die! I ran out of mana there. I forgot Flame Dash. Mama Bell be good on Leak Star. It should be fine, yeah. I don't know if it's good, good, but it should be fine. Uh, do I wanna use this body armor? My body armor kinda sucks, honestly. Not checking loot from boss? No, I don't think it's worth it. I don't think I'm gonna... Hulk that. I'm gonna keep my Hulks for later. To fix whatever I need to fix. Wanted to bless orb this. Nice. Plus ten percent damage. What is this dead end, man? How is this dead end this long? Holy shit, I didn't even know there were dead ends in this zone until today.
I need to stop opening boxes. Or get a freeze removal, either or. A delirium in this zone, eh? Okay, that's a death sentence. I should have switched to Grace. <laughs> uh, light. Honestly, my damage is good enough that it's not that drippy. I thought it would be so much worse. Essence? Loading. What is that? Crit? That doesn't do anything for me. Image is starting to like slowly fall off, I would say. It's not like bad, but you know. I'm not like insta killing bosses anymore. That boss has a uh, low or like small hitbox, I'm pretty sure though. I'm gonna try really hard to look for a 6 socket body armor. I think it would give me a lot of power. I do not remember if I actually put Blood Rage in my POB. That's a little scary. No, it... Shouldn't work with them. I think it only works for exactly chromatic orbs, not tainted chromes, but I didn't try myself. I just remember someone testing it and that's what stuck in my head. So I'm pretty sure it doesn't work. But you're probably better off double checking. If anyone in chat knows whether you can blanching with uh, tainted chromes. But I don't think you can. Okay, um... Five more points minimum. We need three more points actually. If we include the skill points from this act. So we need level 59 is when we can swap. Where's my 30 MS boots, man? Definitely don't need to farm before Kitava either. At least not levels, maybe gear. Hopefully not. 
I don't think ES Evasion is the six socket I wanna use. Doesn't sound good. How much am I unspecking? I'm unspecking three point no two points, right? Yeah, two points. Just point blank and the deck's not in front of it. Accuracy 2.7, we are not even close to having accuracy issues, that's good. Man, I hate click it's so hard to actually click those gems on a build that has to like aim. Like where the fuck do you get time to click them? Give me my fucking console out of gem level up, man. Why do console players always get the better part of the deal? I almost logged out an accident. True. They are kinda. <laughs> Handicapped by about everything else, not wrong. Everything else on console seems like pain. At least to someone who is not used to it. Yo, it's on console, yeah. It's both on Xbox and PlayStation. It's been there for a long time now. Like three years or so, maybe. Be careful. I'm not exactly sure about the timeline, but it's been a while. How does it look? It's just PoE. It's the same game, pretty much. I really hope we get crossplay in uh, PoE too. Not that I personally care about it, but it would just be cool if uh, it would just be cool if the more casual crowd could play it. I don't see a downside to having crossplay either. Well, I guess the downside is that some people would feel like oh they had to make compromises to make it crossplay. That's the only like reasoning. That's about it. I'm gonna get grace for the high gardens. This is why I leveled the grace in my oven the entire time. Not actually, but I feel like I can't get past without. 
I mean, I could without killing, but I don't want to lose out on XP. I don't even know if that rare died, I would hope so. This should be grace on, nice. Oh yeah, no, I think the reason why it's not synchronized with League Star is because uh PlayStation like Sony or whatever. Or like was it was it was it PlayStation or Xbox that had problems with patches or is it both? Pretty sure it was it was PlayStation. One of them always had issues where, like, you have to fucking have the patch ready, like, two weeks before or a week before or something. I remember them mentioning it once. Yeah, I was dead there if I didn't switch to Grace, for sure. I don't have Trinity, yeah. In the zone. Counter guy, is it Blaze? Yeah. I mean, he's not the only console guy, but he's he's the cat memer who you know. What? I don't know. Did he win or did he just place in one of the races? But uh, there's like a few console players every now and then in the chat. Stranger Bow ever worth using? Why not use her out of eyes? Because it's literally a fucking cosmetic aura. What do you mean? It does nothing. Her other vice is probably the worst use of 25% mana. I mean, when Havok uses Arctic Armor over her other vice, I feel like that speaks for itself. When Havok would rather use Arctic Armor, which is like a mediocre defense over her other vice, that bow is decent. It sounds good. I mean, sure. Just play the uh, sounds on YouTube, man. What's that attack speed on that bow? 1.3 It's probably too slow It is a lot more damage though It doesn't have open attack speed slot, you can't really use it I mean we could have, but I don't want to I guess it's a better way to put it <clears throat> Do you guys know, did I take the Yugo skill point? I don't remember if I actually clicked it. Does this continue? No. Not actually watching? Yeah, I mean, the, the five people who are actually watching. 
I know that most people just have it as a second monitor slash radio, but you know, maybe there's someone who knows. Because <laughs> I for sure don't remember. I feel like I did not grab it. I don't know, worst case scenario, we waste a little bit of time. What level is Ticket Bowl? I feel like it should appear in that vendor already. Not opening that box, I'm not trying to log out and rerun the zone. Almost logged out. <clears throat> it was close. My brain uh, kind of stopped there and I almost logged out. Skill point nice. You do get it. Uh, okay, we can actually go lightning arrow. Sure. Uh, run lap and then we can swap. I did forget about the ticket bow, but... Yeah, I'm skipping Dark Shrine here, but I'm probably grabbing the Dark Shrines later. The weary traveler. <clears throat> I needed further strength note there. Next level, I guess. I will get one shot if I get hit. What? How did that die? Whatever, I guess. Ballistas, I guess? Sweep the trappings of past emperors aside. Make your empire anew. Uh, I need to go to left here, I think. But let me check for Dark Shrine here. Highborn Bow. Highborn Bow is pretty good, actually. The pursuit of power can Unique item on Dev. Close. Not good enough. It has like one mod, but it at least tried to roll the correct mods. I'm not using the Chaos Orb on that. I do not know whether Highborn Bow or Ticket Bow are better, or is better. I think it's so close that it probably doesn't matter. It's like all the same. Imperial, Highborn, Ticket, Groove. All the 1.5, 1.45 are like the same bow. Two points there. Essence. So it's stem chains, all weakness. If I get hit, I'm dead. Don't give up yet. Okay, this is bullshit. You are inexhaustible. I actually cannot use ballista if you want an extra key. The sovereign leech needs but a husk for its descendants. I'm not up to that just yet.
Why did I go here? That's not where. There's a ticket bow. Pretty shut your goal up. <laughs> Not only that, I knew that you would say that as well, you know? So easy to fake grounds nowadays. You know, the pre recorded message is so obvious that it's gonna come up in every run. Ooh, seven shrine. Ah, I don't care enough to respect PT. But you can even predict the response to it. Okay, uh, let's go. We had the accuracy there. No, I was always a sub emote. I mean, some people just put it. It's a. It's kind of what I hate about 7TV. Not necessarily not even because of that emote, but more like, look at Nick Pog. You know, that would have been like the best Twitch emote ever. The next Alk XD. Instead, it's just a 7TV mode. Uh, 10 quality on Lightning Arrow. Still breathing, eh? I pass decent, I will keep that. Ah, do 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 do, lightning arrow swap. Wait, is it that easy? Is all I need returning projectiles? That's it? I think that is it. I don't think I need anything else. I should buy barrage though. This is way too dank. I hate returning projectiles. Hello? Click. Mark on head? Eh. I could use it, yeah. Actually. I'm gonna log out and buy it, just so it's leveled. It's a good shout. The drain of errors would have been so much better there. In a straight line though, lightning error is kind of good. It's not bad. Mana? Mana is not a problem. The only reason mana is a problem is because I'm pressing my mana flask randomly. Yeah. If I actually pressed it every 4 seconds it would never be a problem because of uh, mana gain on head. Oh actually no, that's not true. Wait, you might be right. Mana might be a problem now. Because this build is not as good as the last one. Oh uh, no, I forgot. Another reason not to play LA early. It's good at killing white mobs though. That's the blue mobs too. I 
Yeah, at this point, LA feels good. I don't think I would want to go before this. Because, like, if you go LA before this, you're missing so many damage nodes. I'm gonna get Mana Leech soon. Maybe I should grab it, though. You're right. Mm. Should I grab it? Yeah. Oh my god, 6 socket. We need to roll something decent there. Come on, game. I might even chaos it if it misses. Dude, why does the Citadel bow roll well? Uh, that's like acceptable, maybe. I don't have straps. That's good enough. I think that's good enough, at least. Yeah, come stand. Thanks for the 12 months of continued support. Like these rares. Uh, okay. Let's think about what we want to do with the six socket. Is there a blue that can go there? Like flame dash, right? Flame dash, good. I need a four link. And drop the quill rain in ledge. Holy, what the fuck? Okay, that's nice. You can unspec one extra point. Um, I'm gonna grab this so I don't have to think about it. You can unspec the point there. I just realized that was like a little waste of respite, but whatever. Could have displayed one level without it. How's the betrayal damage? Oh, it's nice. Oh, that might be my rank. I took the accuracy build for resist and accuracy. I think it's just good. I think it's just good and efficient. It's a prefix well. I mean, I guess we are hoping for life. I did not find the item. Oh yeah, of course I helped Alira. I am a big Alira enjoyer. I think the amount of stress it alleviates by giving you mana regen is more than worth helping Alira. Like that it by itself is worth one point and then the other point is the 15 Alras and I don't even need the crit to play a role. So even on non-crit builds, I'm an early ranger. So I'm level 61. That's pretty good. Um. Here, let's loot that. Where's the guy? Where is he? There. I don't need that craft. I don't know why I ran to it. Kraden actually has some use. This is a good build. It's not a good build. Yeah, 
It is not. Nice, we hope they're alive. You consider going Mana Forge? I did! What are we missing? Oh. Where the fuck? Oh, here. Found it. Accuracy check 2.5k. Sure. Not good enough. Nothing interesting there, I don't think. I'm gonna check you for a ticket bow. You don't have one. What's wrong with you? I'm sure I can find a ticket or two. I don't know why I killed that rare, got to commit it. Hey, if I cared enough, he would already be permed a long time ago. Fair much people for any insult. I mean, no one would be in this chat by now. Hello, go faster, Mr. Boss. Did I ever complete the Einhar? I don't remember. I did not. I need to spawn Einhar. Um. Hmm. What? Oh, I guess I can grab accuracy, but my bow has like no green sockets right now, so it doesn't do anything. But that's probably gonna be the mastery I go for there. Fucking Slayer, man. Really? Karn! Where is Karn? <sighs> Imagine this is fucking like Karn on League Start, man. Just playing the game, suddenly you drop a tainted pack from fucking Act 9. Am I still Giga Overcapped on Fire Rest? Oh, I am. I'm probably gonna be Giga Overcapped on Fire Rest the entire run.
need to not be lazy to put down a ballista or two every now and then. I'm like pretty sure it's March 29, but I also don't have to book up vacation days for it, so, you know, I don't really need to care, but that's my guess. Like, I feel like if it was March 22, we would already know. I need further strength so I can start leveling my determination. I mean, technically, this thing is not four months. If it starts at March 29, it's like three and three quarters of a month. You know? Not lying. The important part is technically not lying, okay? That's like the important part. My mana is gone, chat. That would only slow me down. Need that bow. I did all the dance packet. Don't tell Karn that I sold the tainted pack. Okay, I need new boots. Kinda. My boots are 15 MS, that's not ideal. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the part two of this run is faster than both the other runs, by the way. Even though I'm completely clueless on Ranger. Uh, no, no. Close. This close might be good enough, actually. I guess the problem with Lightning Arrow is that if you don't get Mana Forge, like Blast Rain and Storm Rain, you don't actually get like any recovery. That's the problem with Lightning Arrow versus Rain of Arrows. What I expect for the PoE to beta is there not be delays, but they might not release every class. I mean, they probably won't release every class on uh, when the beta starts. 
I mean, we'll see what's gonna be available. Hopefully some Kasher stuff. To get into PoE to beta, you have to defeat all Ubers in Ruflos. Good luck. Ruflos as a sav. You can do it in softcore, that's okay, but... People want it. <laughs> There'll be like 10 people in the beta or something, probably. Are these boots good? No. They can't even have MS. Da, 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 da. I hope I don't have to swap in Barrage at any point, otherwise I'm gonna be sad. You did not spend 1000, you will not be invited, well... And sadly, I'm safe. I guess. Should have used more better. We get it not using one. Oh yeah, there's gonna be a lot of people who spend that. I wouldn't worry about that. I mean, the amount of relic very key items and uh Valdemars speaks for itself. So those are four hundred eighty dollar packs, right? So probably most people who bought one of those spent a thousand. Oh yeah, I mean, it's not like a one-time purchase, right? It just happens over time. So I don't even feel bad about it. I think I spent like fifteen hundred on Poe probably in total over the over the long time. Of me playing the game. Come on, I need this boat to be good. It's not. It is not. No ticket ball. No, actually, people who play PoE 1 beta shouldn't be invited, because PoE 2 is supposed to be a different game than PoE 1, and those people are boomers who are stuck in old ways, and they wouldn't be able to provide good feedback. So just invite anyone who started PoE late, like after 2.0, specifically at any point since the last month of Talisman, then I feel like you should be in uh, PoE 2 beta. For no particular reason. Definitely not when I started playing. Ranger Ball, not good enough. Join during Sanctum? Holy, this guy's new. 
But I guess turning during Sanctum means you have been playing PoE for like year and a half now, though. <laughs> there. Feels like Sanctum is pretty much a new league, but I guess it's been a while. I'm squishy right now. That's a good unique. Probably using that. Double rest attack speed. Why is it fucking fire rest again? It's always dumb fire rest, man. I forgot that I put down the portal. Too late. I feel like I would die right now if I go to Belenta with zero armor. Give me the quartz. So not using the LA focus. It's fine. Soon. Oh my god. See, this is why I wanna play Determination. Because I think those hits happen even if you have a grace. That's why I'm a Determination Enjoyer. I started in Onslaught League 0.110. And Onslaught is pre release. They had leagues before the game released? Or did they just not call it 1.0? Or what? I'm over leveled. Kinda. Oh, 64. Quick accuracy check, 2.5k. Oh no. Oh no. There's accuracy notes to take, but we have to drop precision soon. What level is my precision? Actually, I can just check how much accuracy I lose. Point two. Seems kinda acceptable. 
That's like life notes. Now, if anything, I'm gonna be getting more life notes. But mastery can help. Well, not with the current gem setup I have. Not with the current gem setup. That's for sure. Oh, there's a two gen. Fucking hate expedition on LA. Never liked it, but which is definitely worth it. Giga warp. Could craft accuracy. I don't want to craft accuracy ideally anywhere if possible. I mean, I will if I have to, but... Alright, I'm not supposed to be point blank. Anymore. Doesn't matter what the stats are there, I'm never using that. Value my four link too much. Uh I don't think I need a new belt. Maybe. Maybe I do the quest anyways. Probably not. I should have reset the design, my bad. Ring? I don't think I'm replacing ring. I think both of these rings are staying. I can craft resist on them too. They both have open suffix. Pretty sure those rings are staying till the end of the run. But I can, I know how to fix it. We can fix this easily. Not that worried, actually. I don't have determination, so I feel like I have to cheese this to not die. Maybe I don't have to, but eh, too skilly should not do. 
I'm getting determination in one level from now. Wonder if there's a way to get it right now. Probably not. Dash, flame dash instead of frost blank. And blink arrow there. Mark lab. Wait, I need to change my Pantheon. So Merkla, we have on a go right. That's fine. Oh, I need a new bow. I need to change my filter too. Game, uh, day one bow. And I need to roll my flasks too. There's a lot I need to do still, but we are on a pretty solid phase. Basically the same as every other campaign. Even on Ranger, that's good. Gearwise, I mean honestly, if we get a bow, that's not bad. Like I don't think we should need to change much else except bow. At least not like immediately. We need a bunch of red sockets. How many red sockets do we need in total? It's, the most liberating of it's like determination, anger, uh, steel skin. Because I wanted to left left click steel skin, kinda. I don't know why I'm killing this. Maybe I can cast one damage taken it at this point, actually. The pursuit of power can be a grotesque affair. Amulet. Eh, true. But amulet is annoying to change. Because it is both strength and end. Maybe I should have let them go into some stuff. Eh, whatever. The weary traveler draws close to the end of the path. It is the sovereign who empowers the scepter, not the other way. Those gloves are good if I don't need the suffix. Or I could just grab the dag speed there. Remember when I was memeing about my gloves just having like no stats and attack speed? Memeing, by the way. Fucking fire as always, man. Why is it always fire as? I don't get it. Every single item I ID just has like a bunch of fire on it. Fire seed, yeah, actually. Time to get the fire region mastery. I mean, it's only four points. And you get some attack speed for it. It's honestly not the worst thing ever, but there's definitely no way I'm going for a chieftaincy. True, actually. I'm forgetting chieftain is an ascendancy sometimes. Guys, don't worry. We need more fire us for sure.
I'm so scared that I'm gonna get uh, disturbed by death. Ah, oh, there should be a dark shrine in the next room. I don't think I'm looking for an outdoor dark shrine actually. Can't be about it. Just get me out of here. That zone is so scary. Too scary. Too scary has porcupines. Hello, Skip. Why am I opening death? What if death was with freeze bugs? What would I do? Just sit there, wait for death, probably? There's no way I log out, right? Oh my god, I got it fucking... whatever. Don't care. Oh, uh, don't care. I don't have a use for it in this run, I don't think so. Especially since I didn't actually bring some rain in. Lightning rest. Those gloves are pretty good. Um. Okay. I need to think about my gear. What can we change? Uh, did you do helmet? Neither of those is good. I need a weapon to, to roll on. Or something. Don't really want to use that. How do I not have a good base? It's kind of sad. Yeah, there's just nothing. That's whatever. Um... Okay, um... I need to get a new weapon before I adjust my gear, kinda. These gloves are good though. These gloves are pretty much always on. Ah, whatever. These links are good enough. I will, uh, I will stay with them. Uh, I mean, I can keep those boots, honestly, for now. Not happy about it. I should not need precision. I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna... Do that for now. Or something. Helm... Do I... Wait, I shouldn't have done that with the helm... No, I don't have a different helmet now. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, 
Determination, Anger, Flask Setup. That's easy. enough um I don't know what my actor says it's probably not gonna be enough for now Point six. Guess it is enough for now. Okay, whatever. Unless my precision's on. It's not. Okay. I need to set up the blaster and stuff. And that's a mana forge blast train. Mana forge blast train uh life tap and storm rain. So it's what? Three green, one red, I guess. Should be three green, one red then. Um, yeah, I plan to blood rage. At least for a while. Is the purple glove? I don't have it. I haven't done challenges yet. Uh, do, 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 do. I need better boots, man. How do I get better boots? My boots kind of suck. So my bow is always going to be free green, most likely. Free green, one red. That helmet is already an upgrade. But of course it is fire rest. One day I will find an item without a fire rest on it. Ah, oh, this is so rough. I mean, I can craft cold rest on my rings, but I would... I mean, I can craft cold rest there too. Like, I can definitely fix it, it just means that I can't craft damage. You know?
He's trying to grab some damage. Ideally. I think I'm gonna spec Essence and just like fix my gear invite maps, honestly. Just a little bit of fixing, not a lot, but... I need a better bow anyways. Tanua here, eh? Wait, why is that hyper bow not shown? Oh, it's probably an eye level thing. Tier 6, tier 4. Fire S. Of course it is Fire S. What else would it have? for now. I need to figure out what the sockets are. I don't want added cold air, but... Uh, Mana Forge, Storm Rain, Life Tap. I'm missing a bunch of notes, a bunch of sockets, and I have no idea what they are. One of them is steel skin, which I actually can get. Maybe I maybe I'm not missing anything then. Yeah, maybe I'm not. Um, do -do 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 trying to think on what I'm missing, and I cannot think of it. So maybe I'm not missing anything. I'm gonna grab that crab. I need, I need better boots. Can I get immune to bleed here? I mean, it doesn't really help because I need CB. Ah. 
do, 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 do. I need that. That's five eyes about okay, dude. Mm. I'm trying to figure out which sockets I'm missing, chat. That's why I'm so quiet. I'm just like trying to think and I cannot think of anything. I should be looting those dragon scale boots. I mean, am I even missing anything? Maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm actually not. Tornado? Is Tornado even good? I feel like Tornado's kind of worthless, but I guess it doesn't really cost us anything to put it in. Tornado. Was there a reason to level Tornado? I always forget. Where is it? Oh. Lamau. Okay, I need a... Oh my god, a little bit of gear. I need to start clicking some suppression notes, apparently. I don't need a lot of gear, I just need a little bit. I need boots. Very much on my boots. I think too much move speed by having shit boots. I guess I'm a too. Uh, share port. Fucking fire ass, dude. Are you serious? Both of them, I think, had fire ass? Yeah. Both, both, both of the, like, kinda usable boots just had fire ass on them. Maybe this is the one run where I do harvest to get the fire to cold. Okay, the clear on the Dada is not that bad. It's honestly just the mobility that sucks. And the survivability. And the damage will suck later.
Yeah, maybe the damage one sec later. We'll see. Yellow. Somehow it got worse. I'll press one Chaos Orb on the amulet. I don't want to be judged for it. Surely it can be that hard to hit an amulet that's better than mine. What colors do I need on my boots? I need green or red boots, that's what I need. Maybe one blue. Evasion, Lightning Grass, some Flat Cold. Twenty frame. Fucking Divine Shrine, man, it almost happened again. Divine Chain is kind of nice though for this boss. Uh, did it did it did it love fire actually love fire man I was not sure if I was standing in the barracks or not when I was clicking the Atlas notes. Am I swapping for T shot bossing? Why would you want to boss on a T shot of all things? Isn't that like the last thing you want to boss on unless you have fucking infinite levels of gear? I don't think t shirts good at all. There's like 20 different skills you could swap to, I think, but I don't think T-Shirt is one of them. I'm gonna buy Storm Rain here. Speaking of swaps. You have to ID on this build. Slayer was better. Slayer didn't have to. Oh, Slayer was better. Need to put Einhard on my map and finish his mission. Why am I killing that rare? Move on! You committed. I'm only gonna do essences that are actually good for my build. Which basically means only bow crafting essences and like zeal. Somehow missed the boss. Nice. Sixty nine.
making love cycling damage direction. I mean, this is like one of the bows that suffers from it the least. I actually don't really care about it. Could have TP'd out, but... Where's the fun in that? I don't really care about Quiver. My Quiver is good enough for this run. I don't even think I'm gonna replace my Quiver anymore. Might replace the craft on it, maybe. Unless I ID something inside. I already have a good decent quiver in stash anyways. Like a second one too. Oh nice ritual. What the fuck, really? Vantage chance orbs. Don't complain, 20 chance orbs. Slayer Seed confirmed? <laughs> Every day is Slayer Seed, dude. What do you mean Slayer Seed confirmed? Why is there an essence in Maligaro's room? And why do I know it spawns in Maligaro's rooms only? Wait, that was content. I thought I was greed. Uh, okay. I can't read. Or I cannot comprehend what I read. Click the essence on the eggs. Ah, I should have drew. Too late. No backtracking for it. But it was a good idea. Oh, the Chaos Stress is gonna get me killed for sure. I just don't have a good way of getting Chaos Stress right now. You should be faced. Immune to poison mastery. Number one, I cannot. Number two, there's other chaos damage in this game than just poison. Getting immune to poison is not the worst idea though. Maybe I should try to... The problem is if I try to craft a helmet, or immune to poison, I need to get... Oh my god. I need to get boots that have a lot of red sockets. There's Malachi somewhere in this, isn't it? Isn't he? Yeah. Uh, do, 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 do. I'm gonna grab that just in case it's good. Grab that. Uh, choice paranoia. Or not paranoia, what's the word for it? Paralysis. What's on this? Cold dress? This is actually pretty good. You could probably use these. 
Wait, I shouldn't have. I, I kind of regret doing that now. Oops. It's not going to be as easy. I forgot my gloves had a lot of lightning. But that's still fine, actually. I would have to fix my... Hmm. I'll think about it. I will think about it. Also, I don't feel like the balls are dropping. I haven't seen a single ball on the ground. I think uh, the filter might be bugged. Or balls. Well, not bugged, but... Probably just a bad filter. I thought I checked the balls, but maybe I checked wrong. I mean, I must have checked wrong, clearly. I had a Mark Monacos. I feel like Mark Monacos makes like your single target so bad at the start because you never have mana to actually cast stuff. I don't know where I casted the tornado, I don't wanna talk about it. It's fine. Level 70, we go there. Maybe the Poison Immunity Master is not the worst idea I've heard. Maybe we try to get some gear. I tap Mark instead of Tornado. I don't think I'm life tapping either of them, but... What's on my bow, by the way? What's the red socket in my bow? Is it just... Is that just bad? I don't need that. I'm gonna start leveling a cast on damage taken setup. Actually, we can even do it this way. Your tornado for life tab. I get what you meant, but I don't really want to do that right now. Wrong dream. But maybe I should. That's the worst ticket bow ever. None of those modes does anything. Man, the rares on this boat sometimes suck like really bad. Compared, to, well, I guess that's true for for Bone Cheddar as well, honestly. I 
I can't use that. There's just no way. Boots, uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, binding. I kind of want five socket or six socket. On my bow. Because I don't really know how else I will fix my issues that I'm having. Like, I don't mind throwing currency on a ball, like all the scours alchemies I have, but I feel like it would have to be 5 or 6 socket for that. Just pine bow on the ground, but I don't think that matters. Those boots are good. That means I have to craft a helmet. Transgender version of LA is a mana forge gem, in my opinion. Not like actual main skill gem. Did those boots... Those boots were just life and strength, right? They didn't have... Uh, resist. I already don't remember. I just stashed them. Check after. Fire us, maybe. Yeah, dude, maybe they, maybe they just have fire us. And that's true. Wouldn't even surprise me. Rigor, okay. Hello. For free. Ooh, there. Is that actually a chieftain seat? Yeah. It's been. Those gloves are good. I do not like the fact that I actually have to change my gear in maps though. I wish my gear was done before.
Maybe I don't have to. Maybe I just feel like I have to. Oh yeah, bow is not the problem. I need better boots, and then if I get better boots, that probably means I need to get better... Helmet. It's a whole chain. Not to run a little fuck. I mean, it's going pretty good, but doesn't mean. Oh wait, why did I go there first? Whatever, shouldn't matter. Doesn't mean we don't need to change some gear still. More resist means a better quiver too. I mean, I just need to pay attention to which essences drop. Or which agents is spawn, I guess, I should say. But I kinda need to fix it in like white maps, not reds. Because I don't wanna do essence in the reds. That seems giga cooked on a dead eye. I keep forgetting I need to do Einhar. I'm glad I haven't gotten blood yet because I don't think I have a bleed removal. I don't know what I rendered there. Oh, I probably didn't ID the unique. People usually just farm essence slash expedition. Or just fucking, you know, you suffer for two days and then it doesn't matter. That's a really good helmet. Pretty much always gonna be my helmet. I do not have a CB removal. Have yeah, we survived it though? Oh no, not another one.
almost. I can't craft it, I didn't do the iron mission because it was an essence. Okay, so I have, a, I have a helmet, gloves. I need boots. I mean, it all comes down to I need boots. Basically, I need boots and a bow. I will keep the engine out for a uh, bell. Both Prism Weave and uh, Bell the Deceiver are very good. Should have just committed to the boss. I think if I just went and tried to life leech, I would have been fine. I knew that was gonna happen the second the boss dies. Rip. First rip. Probably many more to come. Hey, wrong way. How do I get boots that are not dog shit, man? Is this really that much to ask for? I mean, maybe. Maybe it is. Need to do some June missions. Um, I'm not doing a dread ritual. That's just not happening. Not with minus sixty. It's not a question if you if I prefer Oh one sec. This is a fight of the century. There's no way I can fit in Immortal Flash. It would be kinda nice though. If I prefer Steel Skin over Molten Shell, I just don't think I have enough armor to run Molten Shell. Normally no though.
Uh, that's not the belt I was looking for. Where's the boss? Actually, I don't see the boss out there. And bone chatter is pretty easy. I mean, you have to press buttons, but it's easy to understand. I would say that's the easiest build from the ones I've been running. I keep forgetting about the Einhar missions. Fuck. Whatever. It's been an hour. Yeah, I, I put it on one of my maps. But then it spawned on an SN, so I couldn't do it. Why on her? Because my... Blast gets an open suffix. And you know, CB is pretty annoying. Turns out we do need it sometimes. Uh, ticket ball. Twenty MS, I don't think that's enough to like border swapping to. Twelve cards right now? Nah, I played like sixteen hours straight yesterday. I, I'm I'm good for a break. I'm good for a break. Uh essence, bam. No, that's bad. Uh, Dreisi, Einhar. Hello. Is that good? No, that's not good. You're six, you're right. Almost. I can't use all, I need to keep 4 ca for chaos. In case I need to grab a mess on my boots. Essence of Envy, login. I fucking hate essence so much, man. Don't think there's anything I can do with a scorn. And I guess I can press it. 
I can't click. So close, the suffixes are actually good. Just can't hit MS to save my life. Okay, we got the Einhard mission done. At least. I'm gonna get good boots eventually, I believe. I can, I might be losing hope a little bit actually. Remember when I was like, I'm gonna wait till a 5 socket or 6 socket shows up? On the ticket boss? I remember. Coming up, Raph. This is it. Wait. This might be it for me, not for him. Good battle. Am I literally using a fucking bow from like... Oh no, it's high level, never mind. I was gonna ask if it's still the act free bow, but it's not, okay. Come on. That's good enough. That has to be good enough. Is there a suffix I can craft? Accuracy means I won't have to spec into it, probably. Uh, okay, now we just need boots. I'm probably not gonna bother getting better boat than this. Tier 3, tier 5, yeah, tier 3, tier 5 is plenty. Pretty sure accuracy is the best craft. I mean, I might craft resist over it. Later. How much accuracy do I have? I have 3.7k. That should be fine even after the gear swap. I don't think I'm gonna get that much life.
Okay, now we just get boots. And once we get boots, we can... Uh, Unspec Essence. Oh no, it's the double, double monkey. I remember when I died to this in Gauntlet. It's about time we get a... <clears throat> about time we get uh, the boots. Oh, I might get one shot. Okay, I almost ran into that. Oh, it didn't one shot me. Good to know. I guess we could go for a better amulet too. Ah, uh, I should have put the uh, better amulet would be good. But the problem with amulets is that you kind of wanna do dog shit essences for it. Come on, all I'm asking for is move speed, open prefix. Okay, I need to be more specific next time. On how much move speed I need. Dude, I'm literally only doing one round. If I die in an ultimatum, I'm gonna be so upset. Why is ultimatum so fucking hard? Maybe survived. <laughs> it's so hard on a dead eye, man. Because you can't get hit by anything, so when you're... <laughs> this is bad. Oh no, wrong way. Wait, why do I have two level ups? Have I just not been clicking them? Oh nice, we got a Kirak. Huge. Huge, huge, huge. Uh, sure, that's fine, surely. Uh, I can't click that, so I'm just gonna start clicking here. How do I get better boots? I don't have a way to remove freeze actually. I just realized. I forgot to craft the flask. Kinda of surprised that I haven't gotten frozen yet. Turns out it you don't get frozen that often. Or not, at least not as often as I thought you did.
Da, 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 da. Yeah, these boots are insane, surely. Oh, they actually are. Okay, I need to figure out my sockets then. I might not have a helmet that I can use. Well, I can just keep using this, um, this helmet. Maybe. Golden Chaos Rest, nice. I need that unveil. Might need that. Do need that. <sighs> okay. Uh, these can go away. What if we just use, uh, where are they? These ones? It kinda seems good enough. Mm. Let's do that, honestly, pretty C. And uh, this needs to be called in lightning and we're done. Okay, now we just look at this. Or link it, GG. Might be able to replace the need a red here. I trolled. I trolled there, whoops. I will settle for two blue. If I hit it. Remember, we do this for freedom. I think we are done gearing then. Maybe the quiver? Yeah, it seems better. Okay. That was not too bad. Offense, 3.8k accuracy. Well, my credits chance, uh, I don't think there's anything. I mean, unless you just drop grid from your setup, you know, but. I need to stop looking at items. I said I'm done gearing, I should be done gearing. Right? 
Hold up, let me think. Is there any item I actually wanna change? I don't think so. I think I'm satisfied with the level of items I have on my character. If these items are not good enough to reach 90, then, you know, Dead is just unplayable on League Start. Well, not unplayable, obviously, but like, uncomparable with the true League Starters. Did I even do for that mine? I did not. I need more portals. I have a lot, nice. 76. I feel like I have to be so far behind of the other builds right now. In terms of XP. Just because gearing in maps is just so slow. Like if you need to gear past like 10, it's just gonna be slower, that's how it is. Should be looting some uniques for alchemies or leon. Nothing there. Atlas mission, uh, strand, sure. I'm down, always down. Ancient city, Val Pyramid. <coughs> Ashenwood promenade, nice. Plus four. Stop opening boxes. Grotta, that's good. I hate that I have to ID maps, man. That's like the best part about DD and Bone Shatter. That's what, like, it's actually part of why they are the best builds for SSF, like, speedruns. Or not even speedruns, but like, even 100 races. Outside of being the best actual builds, not. Not worrying about a single map mode is such a huge advantage in early SSF. I mean, Bone Shatter or DD don't care about either. Well, Slayer Bone Shatter doesn't, I mean. Slayer Bone Shatter, Elemental is DD, don't care about either of those two. No reflect, right? No, no reflect. Okay, we good. I'm making. I needed that. I'm a little worried about Uberlap on Iron Eclair on this build. I feel like there's a chance I just run it down Metum there. How much completion do I have? 
29. Oh, that's actually really good. You must be getting there. 76. That's not bad at all. So do I need six more? Twenty-four? Sounds like six more. I don't think I can run Fist Reflect, can I? 250 Fist Damage per hit. Actually, I don't know, maybe I can. I mean, I have some armor and some evasion. I feel like I probably can run Fist Reflect. Don't think I have one though, but... If I did, would I just play the map? Um, I would probably roll over it just to be safe, so I'm not 100% sure. Uh, do 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 do, nothing, nothing, develop pyramid. Cold dress? That's not the worst. Fist to lightning angle? Nah. If you have to get fist to lightning, you just run a different map. Why am I not getting frozen on that box? What? Do I have like chance to avoid freeze? Freeze avoidance 20. Oh, it's from Tick Skin. Of course. I need a different ultra. Tier 3, tier 4. Oh my god, that's insane. <gasps> I rolled over 5 sockets. Oh, I don't know why I can double click there. Is it even much better though? Tier 3. Tier 3, tier 4. I have tier 3, tier 5. Nah, I honestly don't think it matters. But I just mean that this ball is like very reasonable. Would have mattered with those five sockets though. Basically the same ball that I have.
That item is so rare. Do I just skin? How did I just drop it here? Mm. What are the next notes I wanna take? I think the options are either Revenge of the Hunted, going into it's either Revenge of the Hunted or going into Shadow. I think. I mean, those are my two options. I'm pretty sure I missed the boss room. I actually need more strength. Uh oh. Shadow it is, I guess. Shadow gets more strength. I don't think Revenge of the Hunted is that good. I think we just go into Shadow. Might allow us to like grab a random amulet later anyways. Ninety-six. This is the last one that we need. Might die to this boss. <laughs> this boss is not fun. Yeah, I'll bust her. Thanks for the prime. Much appreciated. It stalling has its own downsides with before these runs. Because I stalled, I get to eat later. Have air. Have air. No food till like what? Oh my god, I didn't realize it's already 4 pm. Dude, we're starving. GG. Starving today. Uh, 9600. And now we just start clicking betrayal missions. Because we already have everything. A forbidden tome. I didn't get a single tome in the two other runs, actually. Just eat? No, 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 no. I don't want to take a break. I don't know. I just want to finish it. I mean, it's like, what, two hours?
I'm like, why are they so tanky? And I keep forgetting that, uh, I keep forgetting that this is life as extra years. Hate life as extra years. Such a damn ass mod. They don't get stunned on the first hit either, and since I, <laughs> I don't have a breeze, it's a bit of an issue. Uh, Atlas mission. Oh, you got a bunch to sell. Okay. You. You. That's actually fine. And Palos. And an Atoll. And, uh. And later on Atoll. I mean, I don't think you would even do Heist in, uh. Like a League Star Bow scenario? What are you doing Heist for? You can, but like, I feel like you have other stuff you need to attend to first. Like Expedition, Essence, maybe even Harvest. Feels like Heights would be really low on the priority list. What was that map? Oh. Got baited. I should have not even backtracked for it. How about? Far learning? I mean, depends on what content you are doing. For some content, yeah, it's good. I do highest amount just to sell contract. Yeah, let me just uh, sell my contracts that I drop. In this run. I mean, I guess the character is gonna end up in SC trade eventually. Ooh, I just realized something. No, I'm leveling at it, Cole. Never mind, be fine. I was gonna say, I don't have the sockets to use uh, some rain later, but I do. We are fine. Don't have to think. But I love not thinking. Plus one fire, what is that? Danger. Danger. Oh no, what is this dead end? This is like how is this a map? How is this allowed to be a map? GGG, please. Don't make these maps in PoE too. Please. Just please. None of this shit anymore. I mean, I'm not saying that every layout needs to be city square, right? Like, channel is like an example of a 
map that has a bunch of backtrack, but it's like not hated by everyone. I might get one shot here. Also, I'm missing Ali Focus. I'm on a preling with them. We won. We won the battle. What is that doing? I already forgot. Hello, focus. I need to leave. I will forget otherwise. I know I had one, I have no idea where I put it, so I'm just gonna buy a new one. Ooh, park, nice. Love this map. Wait, park might be really bad on this. Because I can't face the boss. Oh no. Man, my favorite part of park was running it on a pathfinder where you just press your life fast and you stand still. I actually hated that map on Necro. Because I felt like my... Like, I mean, hated is a strong word, right? Because you can just kite. But it just feels so bad for your damage up time if you're kiting. I'm a little worried how it's gonna feel on this. I mean, I have a lot of life gain on head, so the... Legion shouldn't be that bad. I have two tier nuns in my inventory. One is a strand, one is a arachnid, I think. Okay, I'm getting Kirk missions, but I don't think I need them anymore. Channel? Sure. It's a little rippy, but sure. And, oh no, one is a park. Park is tier 9 somewhere. Where's the park map? Oh, I don't know. I don't know what I was looking for there. Five hours in, I'm not 80. This has to be behind. Bonchitter and DD. Not by too much though. Probably like 15-20 minutes by now. But it's probably gonna slow down more. Summit. Oh no, not summit map. And to recreate the Havoc Club Visa. No! I don't want to witness that. I changed my mind real quick. <laughs> that was the last second change. That said though, um, 
Determination feels really good, as I expected. I think Determination is the aura you should be running on... Uh, on Dead Eye. At least in white mobs it felt really good. I mean, we'll see if it stays in uh, in reds. Maybe you're just not gonna have enough armor. Okay. I don't even need these completions anymore. I don't think. I mean, if the game is giving them to me, might as well take them, right? No, ghosted bosses. You know what I have not found yet? Uber lab. I guess I could use Kirak to fish for Uber lab, actually. Maybe that is smart. You got any Labyrinth Trial there. It's actually a good map. You can run that after. Oh. I'm gonna take my chances and take the other trial. It can be worse. Piercing truth. I forgot if piercing truth is good or bad. I think it's bad. It is bad, it's this one. Probably the second worst trial. Actually, this one might be worst. I think I would rather do Burning Rage. This is just annoying. I mean, they're all just annoying. Isn't that the whole purpose of Trials? What do you mean? I like that. 
there. Yeah, staying in Devon is the only good trial. That's how every trial should be. That's the acceptable length of a trial. And there's one more that's like, okay. Uh, oh my god. Almost died. I think Swirling Fear is the other one that's okay. Lap time. Did I loot the offering? I did. I didn't see it over the race course thing and I got scared. Same. The, I remember in the old system, like, I think I made it to 93 once. Before overlap, like, it was just so frustrating, man. No, actually, I think I died at 93 without having a lap. That's what it was. And it was on a fucking inquest, too. I remember molding about it because it was the one ascendancy where Uber lap was like 50% of my damage or something. That was not fun. I'm glad they changed the system. There's also the other system that like you could put an offering into map device and then they gave up on that one too, which is good. Glad they gave up on it. So they put gems in lab? I don't mind it. I don't mind gems in lab. Unless you get like giga fucked on it, it's like fine, in my opinion. I kinda wanna do the gargoyles, but I kinda don't. I'm a little conflicted. I wanna play it safe. I'm not trying to rerun my lap. Oh my god. Put gems into trial. That's an idea I have not heard before. What if every the only way keyboard the only way to get uh, transfigured gems was running a trial, Uber trial, and you just get one gem at the end, not even a choice. It just instead of an offering, it drops a random gem. Oh my god, you're a genius! I'm messaging Chris right now. Love watching love. I mean, love is kind of good stream content, ironically. People love to see the misery. Like love on leak start in SSF when you get hard stack there for three hours. Oh my god, people just gonna be spam. Actually, we'll alt up to spam Lamao. 
Each each lap can wait. It's a shit show, but we like watching. Nah, that's rock crafting. <laughs> I should kill this guy. Because if I don't, he'll kill me in the last phase. Enjoy watching Rock. I mean, it's better than Gwenon or 2 Gen. At least you have to do stuff to, you know, play Rock. I hate clicking 2 Gen, honestly. It makes expedition so unenjoyable for me. My dislike for two gen. It's like the currency is good, don't get me wrong, but sometimes I just decide not to click it at all and just I the currency just rots. It's just so boring. Uh, not massive shrine. Okay, thanks. I mean, I could just right click the massive shrine if it was massive, but I went the wrong way. Oops. Why is my damage so bad here? Is it just because Izaro is moving and my totems are not hitting him and my totems are all my damage? Probably. Uh, do 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 do, whatever. I missed. That's kind of fucked. I actually didn't get GCP like quality. That's unfortunate. Freedom comes. That is unfortunate. There's no way I get 10 GCPs, so I don't even have to worry about that.
72k pinnacle DPS on LA. Yeah, sounds about right. That's about how much you need. Train arc tomorrow. What are you gonna queue up League or what? POE practice. Oh no. Oh yeah, I'm sure it's way more with Ballista. The Ballistas are probably double the damage of LA. That's why I uh, refuse to play non ballista. I'll try to get the amulet to be good. That is not good. Finally tier 11, let's go. And a tier 9. I will have Frenzy, not, I will not have Blood Rage on Bosset. But like, I'm not bossing on LA, so like, that information is not that important anyways. This max hit is 5.4k, that's like double of junks. When we imported it to POB, so I'm pretty happy about that. Oh my god, see? If my fist max hit was half, it was I would be dead right there. Easily dead without determination. I mean, it might be fist to fire. I'm not sure. If it, it's probably converted. Let's not pull a havoc here. Let's be careful when TPing out. Actually, I'm just gonna leave. Oops, not like that. Oh no. I just realized something awful. I have to do... I have to do these bosses. Oh no. I forgot about these. Oh no 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 no. Uh... I have to kill Shrek, and I have to kill Blackstar. That might be a problem. How do you get nameless bees? Wait, is it for the for the second quest? You can just spam the secret. Unless they fix that. Which I doubt they did.
Even purple. I'm gonna be real with you. I have no fucking idea of what purple does. Like, I have no idea what the quests are. I don't think I've ascended purple. No, actually, I did ascend purple because I wanted to test the... There's like the, the thing where you consume a corpse or whatever. I did try that. An exalted orb. Okay, what are we exalt? Oh my god, astronauts? I don't think I can use astronauts. What are we exalting? Probably. Quiver? Quiver should hit damage on average. And damage has to be the best stat. That was pretty bad. Don't care. Uh, arena. I don't think there is anything that I could have exalted that would be actually good. I should check, change my Pantheon, I think, to shock now. Instead of bleed. My connected map, but I need a tier 11. I think I have a horizon, I should use it on that so I don't have to run arenas all day. Fuck arena, hate this map. Coves? Sure, that's gonna go well. Sure, Levon, get one shot by a certain golem here. Oh, that arena had a June mission though. Oops. Should have cleared. Doesn't matter too much, but should have cleared. Nice, tier 11. I oh, brought I didn't need this card, that one looked easy. This run is so wonky, not really. I feel pretty safe in most maps. I always say as I go into the red maps, it's gonna be a bit sketchy, but yeah.
second tome, what the fuck? Looks like Dead Eye has the Sanctum Seed. Hidden message, yeah. Trying to tell me what I should do on leak start. Thanks, game. I already knew. I could, I'm gonna get one shot here. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. Let's see this. Oh god. This is gonna be a disaster. Wait a second. Okay, it's not a disaster. We are fine. That's way more acceptable than I thought it would be. That's way more acceptable than I thought it would be. Holy shit. Honestly, when you are standing still, the damage is good. I think it's better than the other two builds on single target and iron They have this storm rain set up. Turns out storm rain scan the LP. I'll be at destroying my fucking sound effects. He did not die, rip. Okay. That was pretty good. Damage face. Honestly. Honestly, not bad. I'm not thinking to Astral Avalanche. <laughs> that is not that OP. I should stay as far as possible for far shot. I'm just bad at it. Also, the fact that my mark is not on the correct target is so annoying.
Like, why is it not on the correct target? What, what, what is this design, man? Oh, I know what the design is. I forgot you can do that. You just what? So did you log into standard? Did a quick... Did I just put in the wrong gem? Whatever. Doesn't matter. Just play the game. Did a quick uber maven to test... That's a bosser and just died. Uh, uh, not just that. Just, <laughs> it's got a multi-strike. I mean, honestly, multi-strike just drops quite often. When I logged into SC trade, I also got multi-strike on my first uber maven. It's just a common gem, no big deal. Drop nothing? Yeah, that's the usual experience. Dropping nothing on Uber Maven is the expected result. Oh my god, this build actually has a problem of running into bearers. Because you kill so far ahead. Sometimes. They got 8 in 50. They like agree drop rate is like 1 in 50-ish. Plus minus a little bit. One in fifty plus minus a hundred. What league was that? I think it was Crucible League. I had the most ridiculous RNG. In Crucible League, I did two Uber Mavens and I dropped Progenesis and Awaken Empower from the second Uber Maven. I think that was the most ridiculous RNG I've had. Where's my connected map game? I got progenesis from a Valdo map. Yeah, there is a Valdo map that has progenesis that Vago made. That one is like unrunnable. Oh, I... wait. This is so bad, man. I hate Mark on hit. I might just start self-casting my Mark. It just keeps jumping on these small guys, man. Mark on hit sucks. It's just bad. I did one Valdem up and I got minus one character. GG. I like Valdem ups though. They make softcore endgame like actually a thing for me. Where I could see like myself playing SC trade and try to make a character. I don't know why the uh, mobs are unique, honestly. It is very weird, but it was annoying on uh, Black Star as well. Okay, tier 13. You're printing now.
There's not even that big of a difference between 11 and 12 plus 5. Like, it feels bad to craft, but honestly, you can just craft on an 11. Oh, you don't want them. Oh, never mind. Uh, fuck the bears, man. What level am I, by the way? 882. Almost. Yeah, when there's extra targets and my totems don't shoot where they're supposed to shoot, this boat sucks. Well, sucks is a strong word, but... Tier 14! Logan. Man, playing Baladra makes me want to play Slay the Spara again. The problem with Slay the Spara is like, I feel like... I feel like I would just play it for like a week straight. Balatra seems safer. I do not see a problem, I do. If I guess the bus near. You're 12? Okay. Oh yeah, Slater's part is great, but... You can just play Slater's part all day. Accuracy check, 3.9k, we are fine there. I mean, honestly, for a four link, this damage is not like awful. It's definitely not good though. Definitely feeling the lack of damage compared to DD and Bone Shitter. The problem is, I don't think there is a way to get more damage before this run is over. Or in general, like if I were to like do this run again, I don't think I would have more damage. 
mean, I could go crit and lose any semblance of defense that I have. I suppose. That's about it. Because I think if I go crit, number one, I have to drop quartz fast, which I like, is probably fine. Because I can just click the phasing now. Number two, I would probably have to drop a bunch of life nodes because I don't know what else I would drop. Be Havoc, be lucky, drop a six thing. Yeah, I mean, that's an option. Bro. I did that on the bone shatter. Why am I killing this rogue exile? Move on. Stop killing it. How did I not drop a mob there? Do I not have 100% connected? Works. I would rather pick a spell to play with an hour bot. Nah. If you are if you are playing with an hour bot, the damage doesn't matter. All you wanna know is how many mobs you are hitting. Like, sure, you can scale spells higher, but, like, who cares? Like, you never have damage issues with a support, no matter what you do. So, you... I mean, you could justify clicking Spark in the past, because Spark coverage was actually good, but now there isn't a spell that has good coverage. Only thing... No, even that doesn't matter, because you're supposed to play with a... Aura bot and a color. You know, the free man squad, dude. Pull up. Log in. I mean, color is just better. Kinda in every way. It's not fun. I mean, I'm not a group enjoyer myself. I don't know, maybe I should play. I, I kind of want to play a support once. But it's just like, eh. Played it once before, eh. It was just like... I don't think it would make for good stream content. Either. You just do nothing all, all day. All you do is click on loot, which I guess is basically Affliction Simulator. So maybe it would take off after this leak, specifically. Six man is awful. I think duo or trio is different. I would playing in a six man is just too much, too many people to deal with. Especially like, I don't know, if you want to do long sessions or whatever, right? Like it just doesn't really work up, work out well, and it's just inconvenient. Everything's bad. I would only ever do like six men if it was like a organized race or something and you had to. In like base game, there's no way you ever see me playing a six man group. Unless it's like, oh, you know, let's do one rotation, but not like organized 10 hours a day, six man. That just, it can't even be efficient. I don't believe that six people can play the video game at the same time without trolling. That's just impossible. I have yet to see it be efficient. I mean, obviously, if you enjoy it, then play it, but that's different, right?
I need to stop going into a short range. I just can't help myself. This is just how I play. Oh my god, I misclicked. Okay, there's no shot you are losing money. That's like such a cool. That's like saying juicing solo loses you money. <laughs> it's, it's such a bad take. I hate that take so much. Literally never ever has been the case. Nah, you cannot spec point blank back. I mean, technically you could, I guess, but you're playing far shot. There's no way like some swerve clicking. I'm not clicking it. I refuse. Blueprint. Don't need that. Oh, tier 15. Okay. One blank is really bad with returning projectiles. Click the sextant? I can't. Not yet. Like here, if I was point blank, I would definitely be doing less damage. Actually, would I be? Maybe not because the totems were kinda close. Hmm. Maybe point blank's not even bad. I might test it at some point. For mapping, I mean. It depends on what, what maps you're running. If you're running out, outdoor maps, then... Uh, Arch is actually pretty good. Probably no map left in this map. I'm just clearing it because I'm low on maps. We could might as well try. Almost eighty three, uh about 83. Yeah, this character's just not making it. Sub 7, there's no way. Dead Eye just sucks. I think it's been behind the entire run. I died once. I died once to tier 2 Gravishes. Rare map with Delirium, unlucky. Or tier 4 maybe. I don't remember. I think it's tier 4. I was face tanking the DGen and then uh, when the boss died, I could no longer face tank it. So basically the problem was killing the boss. I mean, I'm not rushing for either Exarch. If I rushed for either Exarch, I could have probably already done them. And you can easily do them sub 6 hours on that eye. But uh, the rushing either Exarch is like... I don't know. If you don't care about XP, then it's really boring. 
It also doesn't really test the build either if you don't care about XP. Because like all you do is like try to rush through maps, right? Not even clear them. He's gonna go under. Stop! Die! Thank you. Tier 16. I had a lot better map RNG on this character than the other character though, I can tell you that much. Do these mobs have extra lightning res or something? The... Eater mobs? I wouldn't surprise me because I think the exarch mobs have extra fire res. They feel very tanky. Or maybe I'm just very ZDPS. Possible. Shouldn't be the case to be like that CDPS though. But my connected map. No idea where the map boss is. Definitely not hitting it. See, I, I feel like all these hits would be a one shot without determination. I'm gonna try to get both bosses at the same time. See if we can. This boss might actually be a one shot. Wait, actually? No, I don't think that's how it works, never mind. I'm surprised I don't drop some five links on these runs. I dropped a tabula yesterday, but I haven't seen a five link on either of the runs so far. Yo, Mandelos, thanks for the prime. Much appreciated. Tier 14s. I can vendor those plazas up. Because I think I have three of them. I do.
I'm bored, man. Need new league as ASAP. I'm pretty sure new league is not coming for a while. I am fully expecting it to be March 29. Really? He survived? Oh, we got it. Fuck. I got baited by the map drop! Minus 10. Actual minus 10, man. Nah, it's not minus 80, so this is a second rep. This is so bullshit. Is it bullshit, though? Or is it just the dead eye life? I mean, honestly, two rips to 83 is not even bad. I mean, listen, I would not say that yet. Like, there's still a lot of run left. To get 16 rips. You gotta remember that Junk and Havok ended at either Exarch, okay? Uh, we have a lot of time to die after when we're gonna be sitting in tier 16 trying to do betrayal. Also, the bosses are coming up. I'm not sure how those are gonna look. I don't know, the Shrek, Shrek I did felt very easy. Definitely easier than Black Star. I wonder if switching to Storm Rain is ever good instead of Lightning Arrow. I'm not gonna do it in this run, but I might test that as well later. Because I feel like Lightning Arrow just doesn't have damage, man. I'm thinking like playing Storm Rain for mapping once you get to tier 16s. Don't think it's that bad of an idea, honestly. Well, time to prepare Pepe Loves. XD. This is so annoying when you are not face thinking it, because he keeps charging. I feel like I have to play melee range. It's just gonna be way more damage. I don't think I can tank that. He considered it. It may be point blank's not even bad. It's not like you can actually play max range anyways. Almost got one shot.
I can probably take anni Annihilation, honestly. I don't think that works, I think he targets you, not the Ballistas, with the charges. He might go into straight into another ball phase, actually, based on his HP. These auto attacks are so scary, man. Oh, God. Okay, maybe he does charge based on Ballistas too. Maven, work! Please, do something, Maven. Really? You don't charge me here? See, this is the problem I have with the mana fort setup. It just doesn't hit the boss when you are far away. Oh, I got debuffed. I'm gonna lock. Hmm. I don't know what I was thinking there. Oh well. I guess debuff gameplay it is. I had like no flame discharges plus debuff though. It was like really bad. What is it? Noxious strike? Wait, that's kinda insane. Yeah, I feel like playing point blank wouldn't be bad, honestly. The more I think about it, I might just say point blank even for lightning arrow. At least for, or at least go point blank for bosses. Oh, you know what I forgot? I was gonna respect my onslaught notes into frenzy notes. Lamau. No frenzy. I mean, honestly, the damage is not even an issue, though.
We were crafting league next week, I wish. I think we all wish. All the SSFNDs at least. Come on, nice, thank you. Shaq felt easier than this, I can tell you that much. Never was talking about Shrek earlier. I mean, neither of them is like particularly difficult, but... It's too early for Cull. I wish I wasn't so used to... Oh no. I wish I wasn't so used to Uber and didn't dodge that far away. I don't think he's skull. Soon. Got the boots, GG. I died to swamp, swamp face every every time. I mean, just gotta practice it then. That's pretty much it, man. I don't know. I don't wanna do maze. Is there any good maps to run? Uh, Vault is like, okay. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, Summit, City Square. I can do like city square sepulcher. Sepulcher seems better than park on a slip for this spot. Especially since we don't care about bosses. Oh do, 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 do you go there, you go there, you go there. I really wonder if I should stay Storm Rain right now. You know what? I actually feel so strongly about it. That I will try it. No, actually you would have to ramp too much all the time. Mm -hmm. Ah. I don't know, man. If I'm gonna be ZDPS... Am I just gonna assume everything behind me is dying? Is that a safe assumption to make? <laughs> nice thing. <laughs> I'm glad I looked over at the chat. Because I would have definitely backtracked. <laughs> Otherwise... No, I don't think this is better than Lightning Arrow. I don't know, it's kinda close. Honestly. I mean, especially in this map. But I guess this is a good map for Storm Rain, bad map for LA. LA has the advantage of clearing packs well because of the splash. Like, even if this is less single target, it's gonna clear the, like, white and blue mobs faster. So it's just gonna end up being better. Yeah, okay, Lightning Arrow actually does feel better. When you have, like, the direct comparison.
I don't need to kill my bosses though. Wait, I might have to kill my bosses. Uh, well, depend on our map drop rates, I guess. The Stormrain clear was not good compared to Stormrain single target. I kinda expect it to be better, but it makes sense. It's like a ram skill, right? So. I'm not surprised, but I was hoping for better. I do think that Storm Rain on bosses was the correct play. I do, however, feel like I'm gonna go point blank next time. Also, I'm really sad that I forgot about the Frenzy Notes. Yeah, the single target on Mavosis is just not good. I mean, we can just skip them for this specific challenge, but... I don't know. It's hard to get more damage in a run like this. Like, I can't really gear to get more damage unless I go crit. I mean, to be fair, I'm on a 4 link in tier 16 as PT, right? Like, it's not like it's unplayable. It's definitely fine damage, but... Could be better. Definitely could be better. I mean, maybe I have too much Bone Shatter and DD in my mind. I have a feeling that everything that I will play, I will feel the same about as this. It's like... Everything's gonna feel ZDPS except Bone Shatter and DD. Just those skills have so much burst. Early game and they don't really need gear. They don't really scale with gear. It's like both an upside and a downside. Tier 16 and farm Bedrill. I mean, probably Bone Shatter. Bone Shatter seems safer on Bedrill than DD does. Let's check if uh, Lightning Arrow is a build you can rush to 16 and do Bedrill with. Uh oh. Eh, honestly, it's fine. I'm no boy boy. You kill fine is the exact. Oh my god. What the fuck is that quiver? It's a shame I'm not playing crit. Man, I'm. I feel like half of the problem is the fucking sniper's mark never being on the correct target. This is a quiver. Crit chance, crit multi damage with spells. Resist, 99 life and unveiled prefix, which is basically double damage guaranteed. Like the flat fire flat gold. Yeah, I would say that is the quiver if you are playing crit. On a broadhead base too. It's a shame I'm not crit. It is a shame. I'm going to be dying to these bitches. That's like the scariest thing. I feel like jumping in. Why? You could aim.
I mean, this is a point where being crit is probably better. But, like, crit on a four link with keeping some defense sounds miserable. But this image is also kind of miserable, so we need your choice, you know? I killed either an Exarch, but I'm not level 90. Can't and literally any chieftain build in this game, literally any chieftain build in this game do wave 20 simulacrum on like day one. Probably even in hardcore. Like I think when you ascend chieftain you you get free pass to do any simulacrum content. And these rares man, I can't kill them. Max virus. I mean, it's not even just the Max virus. The fucking explosion's clear for you too. What skill? The skill doesn't matter. That's what I'm saying. All you need to do is kill a white mob. What corpse skills? Doesn't matter. Oh, I would play Ignite, or at least go for 100% Ignite chance, if you are not Ignite. Because the Ignite can just go... Um... Default forces, right? And that way you just kill Kozis every time. We are about two, three levels behind of uh, Bone Zone. See, guys, I always said I always said that I sucks. We should nerf Slayer instead. I mean, listen, Karn shouldn't be upset if they nerf Slayer, right? He always says it's the best ascendancy in the game, and how much better it is than Jug. So nerfing Slayer would basically be putting Slayer on Jug's level. So there's no way Karn would get upset about that, right? I don't know why I'm killing that. What the fuck? Portals are disabled there. I mean, honestly, I feel like the best way to handle Mela. Okay, guys, time to... Time to make people upset. You guys ready? Let's go. Step one, nerf totems. Step two... Buff every single skill except Bone Shatter. That way, Bone Shatter is worse than it was, and every skill, every other skill is better. And you are not reliant on totems. Alternatively, I feel like you should only be able to use one totem, and uh, it should be stronger than it is. I mean, I don't, I don't understand why that's not been done yet. Like. Why the fuck can we have both of the totems? This feels like, man, fuck this shit. Like, people have been bitching about it so much, and it's not like optional, or it doesn't feel optional on low gear at least. 
I mean, I don't mind it too much, right? Because you know how, how many buttons I press. But most people are bitching super hard about it, and I'm surprised it hasn't changed in like 16 leagues. I think if you bring Bone Chatter's power level down a little bit and everything else else up quite a bit, we are in a good spot. Like, I'm not saying Distro Bone Chatter, I'm talking like, I don't know, like 15% maybe. I mean, do you even need to nerf Bone Chatter? Maybe you don't even need to nerf Bone Chatter. But you have to buff the other stuff, so there's a reason to play something else than Bone Chatter for the first 95 levels. They did say they plan on changing it, but they also before have said that uh, PoE2 will fix it, you know. Unless they said, oh, we are changing it next league, I don't know when it's coming. Bone Shader has no late game? I mean, that depends. Bone Shader has had end game before. Right now it doesn't. But, um... Uh, both uh, Divergent Bone Shader and the whole meme with, like, Crucible Weapon, like, Pyroclast, the uh, Stormblast Bone Shader, were, like, softcore Giga end game builds. But now that isn't a thing. Anymore. I guess they were both Divergent Bone Shatter, to be fair. It's just a different way of scaling Divergent Bone Shatter. Yeah, like without Divergent Bone Shatter. Why am I killing this? I'm too committed to killing it. Whatever. The rares in tier 16s on this build are not easy. And not squishy. I mean, 5 link would probably make it feel good. Or a, a better ball. Ball with a third mod or a 5 link. And I think the damage would be good enough for this. For me, it's the totem stuff. Yeah, I get that. I feel like the you guys know what the Exarc boots do. And I don't mean the Uber Exarc ones. I mean the the normal exarc ones. I feel like that should be a keystone. That is like one point for most most mela builds. It makes it one totem only and it gives it in case the fact. I feel like that should just straight up be a keystone. At least un unless they provide a better solution. Maybe they don't want to make it a keystone because they want to provide a better solution, but... I would. I do feel like it would make Grim PoE better. The Linger Master? What do you mean? I love the Linger Master. I always take it. You think the Linger Master is not good? Really? I feel like that master is super broken. Like, actually super broken. Because it it's not only for your totems when you go out of range, it's also, also for your warship when it times out. People aren't using it, a lot of people are. Every, every, well, I mean, no one's playing Mela, so no one is using it, obviously, but... The people who are playing Mela are using it.
What's up, there's my betrayal. I'm just getting beasts over and over again. No, I'm pretty sure Bone Shader was faster than DD, even though I'm way more comfortable playing DD. DD sucks compared to Bone Shader, it wasn't even close. Well, sorry. DD of Chain Reaction. I'm pretty sure Ignite DD is gonna be faster. Well, actually, will it be? I don't know. Yo, Ninja doesn't lie. It literally does. No one in Subcore is fucking playing uh, Mela Build 200. And like actually mapping on it. But did you get more practice? Eh. Practice is overrated. I mean, it matters, but... It's not like I practice on the other builds. It's pretty fair. I mean, if anything, uh, when it comes to leveling, I'm most comfortable leveling, which. Are there any good DD guides? Just tune in on leak start, assuming DD doesn't get deleted. Or before leak start. I will try be trying to make a lot of guide related content this patch uh, this patch <laughs> this leak. I mean I guess patch is not even that inaccurate. But can't do that shit without GGG doing something. And one problem with not running Grace is that you don't have access to Wild Grace. Wild Grace would be really nice, but you just don't have the sockets for it. Oh. Yeah. I have a bad feeling this is gonna keep happening quite a bit. Oh man, I just need a little more max hit for this bitch out. I guess I could just not do betrayal, but I feel like betrayal is too good not to do it. Even if it's trippy. Even if you die every now and then. Harkon run over? Harkon run has been over for a while. But honestly, I do feel like I could make it on this build to 90 within like 7-8 hours in Harkon. Just fine. Like rushing for levels, not like playing normally obviously. The problem with playing this build normally is doing stuff like Essence and Expedition. I think that shit gets you killed 10 out of 10 times. I don't think you can do that on Hardcore ever. On a build like this, it's too squishy. Ah. 
I can't believe I survived that. I thought there would be like a... I just put those over us. I thought there would be gap in the corner and there wasn't one and... There's a map so I have to go back. And there wasn't one so I just had to log, there's no way out of there. I'm gonna do this real quick, because I have a bunch of missions I have to spend. SC log. I log out when I play as SC. I volume my XP. I mean, when I play SC, it's not like it's not like I play like it's hardcore. I can't do that, but I don't like dying when I play SC. I just don't find dying fun. And like, sure, dying every now and then is fun, and you can argue it's efficient, but I just don't care. Like, I could probably be dying more in this run and make the run faster if I. If I'm not like dying to lose XP, right? If I'm just dying sometimes. Wait, why am I killing that boss? I don't need it. No one would disagree. Yeah, good thing he's not here to argue. Minus 10 is never fun. But it's not even minus 10, just dying is never fun because it just means your build sucks. Let's make a better build. You can have like infinite damage without your build being shit. Especially in Trade League. The only excuse for people dying in Trade League is if you have MF gear equipped. That's the only excuse that I will allow. Like if you have like an end game build and you're just dying every fifth map or every map. Nah. Really? Even a fucking cat can make a build that has like infinite damage, infinite defense and so forth. Well, relatively infinite for most content. And that's a cat. Imagine what a human can do. I mean, I'm not saying that that should be the case on like day one with no gear. Don't get me wrong, I'm saying like, once you are making a proper endgame character, that's how it should be. You are brutal. Like, there's no reason for your ST build to be squishy. Endgame. No good reason, at least. To tell us, week one, you actually kind of have to make uh, sacrifices in order to make your character. Like, if you care all about speed, there's some justification to make your character squishy on week one. I wouldn't do it, but there's some justifications for it. But that said, you can drop like 30% of your damage, 20% of your damage, and double your HP. And I would do that every time. The weirdest part is when people make like squishy like DD builds. Like I don't, I just don't see the point. I thought the point of that build is to play it for a little bit and then just unspec it. They never come back to it, right? 
or like you play it, but if you're gonna play it, you might as well basically play it like hardcore build. Because it's not like you're gonna MF on it, like regular DD elementalist or whatever. Seems so pointless to make it squishy. Because it's like, you're still not gonna scale the damage well enough. For the investment, like at some point it just kinda plateaus. Compared to like crit builds. I, I guess now you can play crit DD, but even that has limited amounts of scaling. But it's better than normal DD. Like DD of chaining going crit is like playable, for sure. I thought the ST version was just to get single target, like the, sing the Spectre Draw version, so you can play double CIP. But that's only if you like want to rush tier 16s for no reason. Like, you just, whenever you play that build, you can just farm Legion. In like, whatever map tier you want to farm Legion in. Like, just like sit in your tier 5 dunes and, you know, be happy about it. It's like better tornado shot for that. Sixteen per turn. I don't think I need this. Is this? Yeah, this. June. Where's my encounter? Thank you. ST version was meant to avoid people parts penerly, but at least there were two. Yeah, I mean, listen. This meme where Ruru thinks that he can make a build and the stuff for it is not gonna be expensive is so funny to me. Number one, there's decent amount of people that will play Ruru's builds. Number two, there's flippers that will flip Ruru's builds. So... It's just guaranteed to not be cheap. I don't know. I don't know why he's so naive about it. Unless it's like a legit tier 5, tier 4 unique that like there's infinite of. It's always gonna be like that. But that's not just true though to be fair, but... It's always funny when he talks about how he's immune to that or like thinks he's immune to that. Mattel effect. I don't even know if Mattel has that effect nowadays. Do people actually copy Mattel's builds? I feel like at this point Mattel's mostly making the builds for himself. Maybe I'm wrong though. Yeah, the tier 16 betrayal DPS is like not there. It's missing a bit. Not too much, but it's missing like 40 50%, I would say. For it to feel good. Oh, yeah, I mean, every unique price plummets pretty fast, actually, in SC trade. I mean, depending on the league, the speed varies, but... I 
Pick the Wandering Path. Hello, how did I clear the entire map without finding betrayal? Eighty-seven. Hey, that's the wrong note. Mattel kind of stopped doing like giga squishy builds, though. His builds are like pretty balanced. They are like pretty good softcore builds overall. Sometimes, I mean, he skips some defense, don't get me wrong, but... It's not the old Mato build, where he was, like, actually playing, like, 3k life, no defenses. Defense became so efficient that most of core players realized, except the Dead Eyes, that it's worth building. And even, even the Dead Eyes realized now, because they realized that all you need to do is equip a Progenesis and a Headhunter, so they actually do those two things, and uh, even those Dead Eyes are not squishy anymore. Because of that. I don't know how this absolution will look, honestly. I'm assuming he played the, the alt quality one. That's basically Storm Call. Like slightly different. Stormcore wishes it look like this. Oh, was it just? Uh, I guess Stormcore's pretty bad nowadays. So I, I used to like Stormcore a lot. There used to be like, I don't want to say a meta build, like half meta build, I guess, of uh, it's like Stormcore, but Val Stormcore with the Dell weapon, and you could just Paramus spam Val Stormcore pretty much. That build felt pretty good, except it had to use a staff. But it was pretty good and fun and unique. I'm kind of sad that like pure wow skills or wow builds are gone. Well, Bone Shader already won. DD is finishing in like 5 minutes. We are 87. I mean, we are like half an hour behind or something. That's honestly not that bad. I expected worse. Also, you know, I'm not a Dead Eye expert either. I don't mind the way I build it, but I wonder if there is something to be tested that make that makes it better. There's so many options with uh, Mana Forge and Ballistas to figure out what you can do. Also, I keep forgetting to use Blood Rage, actually. Just realized. All these rounds make me kind of, kind of want to go for XP on League Start. 
just until I die. Just like push SSF hard. Maybe SSF softcore? Nah. SSF softcore is like mandatory one session. Surely. That sounds awful. In hardcore, I think you can get a nap in between. Also, there's a decent chance I would die in hardcore, which means you can just go to sleep. No one races in softcore. Hmm. That's fair. I don't know what I'm doing next week. I think everyone's playing hardcore great. So I might as well. What do you mean by carnage here? I think if you play DD, you can get an easy 3 4 hour nap and still beat any Bone Shatter player. 200. I mean, it's been proven over and over again. Actually, I want to do this. You don't need to be 50 plus hours of egg though, it's not even optimal, that's the thing. I don't know how people don't understand this, just because Karn did it once, like... It's just not optimal. It's only optimal when the length is like 30 hours or less. Which like it definitely would be in softcore. I don't know if people are gonna do 30 hours or less in hardcore. On leak start. Probably not. I might go high hardcore trade as well. Next day should be good hardcore trade league. Pretty sure everyone's just gonna load it up. I think people are so like bored of SSF. I kinda enjoyed SSF this league surprisingly enough, so I'm not like hundred percent sure that I'm playing trade, but I think as a streamer, playing trade is kind of more fun. At least if you care about making builds. Because SSF building is just... It's like, fun from player perspective, but unfun from a streamer perspective. Because there are so many, like, asterisks of, Oh, if I had this, I would do this. If I had that, I would do this. If you don't have this, do that. Like, it just makes... Everything's so awkward and annoying. No, I don't mean like scamming and trading viewers. I don't really care about that part. Listen, if you get scammed, it's usually your fault. I meant from like a build creation point of view, not not like streamer gameplay point of view. Like, for me, normally, I, I would consider SSF builds more interesting to put together, but... They are not really shareable. It's supposed to be a hardcore viable run? Uh, not really. But I do think I could make it in hardcore in, like, sub-8 hours on Dead Eye. I mean, I have, like, 3 deaths so far. It's probably gonna be like five by the end of the run. One rib, one rib here. Maybe survive? Okay, we survived nice. Not even worried. I hope we don't get... Well, okay. If we get transfigured auras, I hope they are different from just normal auras. Like, transfigured Wrath would be like... Enemies take 20% more lightning damage or something, instead of players deal. 
type of different. That would actually be cool. I don't want it to just be like, oh, this has very high range, but it doesn't affect you. We already have generosity for that. I just have no more link stuff. Eh, I don't feel the same. It's like, you guys feel... A lot of people... I mean, I, I, I have molded about this before. Feel like, oh, if we didn't have links and Rufus, we would have more stuff other, elsewhere. Like, realistically speaking, it, that's not how it works. Like, you wouldn't sudden... Like, if link skills didn't exist, you wouldn't have, like, seven different other skills. Like, maybe you would have one. Trans hatred is not a gem you want in your. Trans hatred doesn't sound good to have in your game. That is true. Oh god. And you just know that some people would be like saying it on purpose all the time. Oh no. Maybe we don't get out quality auras. Nick also like being linked. Yeah, aware. I see the square. It's a rock. I don't care about rock. What level am I? 88. Two more levels. You can definitely do sub-7 on this run easily. Easily sub-7. I think if I did a second run it would be sub-7 like every time. Just because I would waste less time like switching gems and like all that stuff and I would just know. Yeah, on second thought, maybe we do not need uh, Transfigured Auras and Curses. Based on your guys in Twitch chat. Uh, oh no. It would actually be a disaster. I mean, maybe people... I was not paying a lot of attention there. That's my bad. That's a uh, rib number four. I don't even know if I died to betrayal there. I might have died to the rare next to it. No, I think I died to betrayal. Okay, Dead Eye might be the first build where Betrayal is negative XP per hour instead of positive. No, it's still not. It's obvious it's still not, but... Oops. Misclicked. Nah, you die. I don't. One, I think Breach and Abyss are way worse XP than uh, Betrayal. Two, I feel like they need a lot more points on the skill tree than Betrayal. And three, I do not really think it would be that much safer either. 
You would have to have like Giga Dam for both of them, which you don't have clearly. I feel like Transfigured wasn't the best name for the gems, man. <laughs> oh man, can, can someone help the poor person in chat that misspelled exclamation mark YouTube twice? <laughs> Thanks. And the recovery from the mana forge is really good. Yeah. It probably saved me way more than I think it did. You can see it there on the Torah how much recovery you gain from it. Like it's basically if you don't get one shot, it's pretty easy to just not die. Did I beat Balatro? I mean, beat is a strong word, but I played it for like 16 hours straight yesterday and. I don't know. I did okay. I I didn't do every difficulty though yet, but I opened every deck I think. Well, not every deck I suppose, but like every one of them that weren't tied to difficulty, and I think I'm at like I don't remember what the stake is. Hold up, and obviously the endless mode you cannot beat, right? It's supposed to be like a cup. I did move one past my previous soft cup, so that's nice. The Balatra is such a fun game, such an easy concept too, but it's really, really fun. Have I tried Rook's build? No, I haven't. I don't think that build really works on a 4 link. I think you need a 6 link for it to be good. And I mean... The only way I would consider doing it is if I mule the tabula into SSF or just did it in trade league. Which like honestly is fine. Maybe you can do it on a 5 link, I'm not sure. I would have to be a bit. 5 link's probably fine. But you can definitely not do it on a 4 link, so... I mean as you can see I'm on a 4 link when the run is almost over. I'm gonna try Katarina with uh, Barrage instead of Stormbrain. Just to see. Trickster, I doubt it. Trickster is what Jung did, right? I don't know, hybrid trickster is kinda weird. Can be good. I can't tell if Barrage is good or not versus Storm Rain. I think here specifically on this boss, Storm Rain would be a lot better. Because Katarina is Giga stationary the entire time. So here, Storm Rain would 100% be better. It travels there on leak start, but I don't think you travel all the way to the right side later on. Like all the way to like Inveterate or whatever. Like it's just there so you don't need suppression gear, basically. That's what the Rude does on every single build that he ever plays. He just picks up like 80 suppress on the skill tree, which is correct, because suppression gear is expensive. Oh, 
Or you could just play Super Slucky. Which I feel like people still underuse Super Slucky. Which is so nice. Eighty-nine. Put Super Slucky on all my builds. I kinda do too, honestly. It's so OP in SSF. I don't even feel like Super Slucky is like bad in hardcore, honestly. Uh, people like, obviously don't boss with it, right? Let's, let's make that clear. But, I don't know, people in hardcore like hate on Super Slucky a lot. And try to get cap suppression as soon as possible. I feel like uh, it's fine to focus on other stuff first. Playing with like 70 Suppress with Suppress Lucky feels completely fine to me, always. I mean obviously it only takes one time where it doesn't feel fine and you will never do it again, but still. Suppression is rolled like block, a gate, just random. There's no entropy. Doesn't really matter though for this. I don't think it matters at least. Like it's a, I just see it as a damage reaction, right? The only reason it would matter is if you were to get one shot. Which like if you are getting one, like if you are getting one shot with without suppress, that means you are getting two shot with suppress while mapping. I feel like you have other problems than Suppression Lucky. If you are getting two shot by spells while mapping. I don't think you need Suppression on every build, actually. I think there's quite a lot of builds that can get away without Suppression. It is very efficient defense. And the problem with suppression is that you can just use it on top of everything else, which means most builds still go for it, but you can definitely get away without it. The only problem I personally have with suppression feeling mandatory is uh, it feels like every other option in terms of gearing comes later. Whether it's Eternal Domination, whether it's for WoW, whether it's... Uh, what's the name of it? Transcendence. Whether it's the only other option that's not suppression is like Jug. I feel like that doesn't like come late. Like all the gear related defense just comes way too late, especially in SSF. But even in trade, it comes pretty late. And yeah, suppression investment is just not very high unless your build is reliant on uniques. Also. Even if your build is reliant on uniques, what I did last time, I just uh, played Strangle with like 40 Suppress Anoint on it or something. And yes, it was the it was the best way to do it, for sure. It was the best way to build that character. I almost died like four times there. Actually hard carried by life gain on hit, interesting. Call and suppression are separate, in my opinion. You can have one without the other. I mean, oftentimes you have them combined, but they don't really do the same thing. Oh, chieftain is a, a chieftain is another substitute to suppress. I forgot about that. Chieftain is a very good substitute to suppress, actually. But then you are playing a Chieftain, right? But I would assume most Chieftain builds this league were non suppress capped. Like, I know uh, Griffin went for suppression in Gauntlet, but I'm pretty sure in non Gauntlet, people didn't play suppression on Chieftain. Or they played. Maybe like Endgame, you would. 
anyways, because you can. Actually, I don't know. It's probably build build per build basis. But yeah, there there is some alternatives to suppression. It's just the problem with suppression is that it's so cheap. But then again, I don't think you want to make it expensive. It's already annoying to get, but it's just too good for how cheap it is. So people feel like you have to get it. But then like there's this whole problem, like everything in this game feels like it kind of got balanced around suppress. So like sure, there's other stuff. But we used to be able to just not have really anything and spells wouldn't really kill you in maps. You would usually just die with attacks. Memory has 100% XP on it. I'm just gonna run it. Oh, I won't because I don't have Valve Rip. <laughs> I was actually gonna run it because it had 100% increased XP gain on it, even though it's kinda hard. I think they made most spells deal like 30-40% more damage over time. And it's just, I don't think you can play it without Suppress anymore. Plus, like, they buff like stuff like Skelly Mages, right? And some of the... Some of the arch mods have spells like Inferno Bolt and uh, Snow Bolt or whatever they are called. It's like people feel it with arch on Chaos Res as well, right? Paper Brown Carried Solution. No, they. What they actually did, they did it the other way this time. They created a solution to a problem that didn't really exist with suppression, honestly. And then, uh, because suppression existed, they felt like they needed to make make spells more dangerous. But like, I think introducing suppression at at the time, I thought it was a great idea. I love more defensive stats, right? It just I feel like it played out pretty poorly. Also, maybe it would be fine if there was like a strength int equivalent of it, or mostly int equivalent of it. My suggestion for that was uh, something that scales the damage reduction rather than like a chance to remove 50%. So it would have to be weaker, but it would roll on like ES gear. And let's say you would have like, I don't know, spell, super, no, well, suppression. It wouldn't be suppression. What would be like a good word for what I'm describing? Mm, do, 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 I don't know, whatever. Spell mitigation, negation. And it would be a 100% chance to reduce damage and you scale the percent of damage you, you can reduce on each item piece. So like you wouldn't have to have it on every item, unlike suppression, but you would still try to get it on a lot of them. Kinda like spell port fortify in a way, just for int builds, yeah. I mean, I don't know if it's necessary. It was just like when we were talking about how to fix the top, top left side of the skill tree. Is that or buffing block to not be shit? One or the other, I'm pretty sure. I honestly would be down for them to overbuff block. Just remove life on block, ES on block, and overbuff block as a defense. I feel like block can never really be too OP because of it not being like 100%. Or make glancing 100%, but then it's basically suppression for both attacks and spells. Obviously, you can make the value lower, but... You could make... Uh, you could definitely make glancing cap at 100%. And then it would be 100% uh, chance to block and spell block, which is a lot of investment, even with glancing. And let's say it would mitigate like 25% of the damage or something. But like block recovery... See, I used to think block recovery is the reason they don't buff block. But then we have stuff like Defiance of Destiny. So maybe they don't care about OP recovery at this point. Also, Defiance of Destiny with block is broken as fuck. The fact that you get recovered when you block is so so weird. Well, it's not weird. It makes a lot of sense, but it is OP, that interaction.
If I answer the mistake in general, I feel like. I mean, I feel like it's too late with recovery and PoE 1. I mean, if you watch my HP yo yo when I'm like tanking Tora with a bunch of Storm Rains on the ground, even this build recovers to 100. It's a random ass, like, you know, level, 100, level 89 Dead Eye, and I probably have like 5k life per second recovery just from uh, excess assistance, right? Like, recovery in this game is so broken if you abuse one of the mechanics that's like broken for it. Life can on it and instant leech are one of them. Defiance of Destiny. Even Overleech. No, Overleech is pretty fair, actually. I take it back. Overleech is just strong. Oh, Tainted Pack is like another example of broken recovery. If But Tainted Pack has decent amount of opportunity cost compared to the other ones. Oh, Jack. And the Divine Shield. Both of those two are kind of broken recovery too. Especially Divine Shield, honestly. Oh yeah, Rico with like uh, Petrified Blood or uh, Progenesis is also really really good. The life on uh, Flask usage, especially this thing with extra charms for it, insane. Like there is just a lot of and even just instant life flask, right? It's like pretty pretty insane recovery, especially when you have multiple of them and you are spamming them uh, without the suffix on bosses, like. Recovery in this game, it's one of those things that like I feel like it's too far gone to nerf at this point. And I the game is kinda of balanced around it, right? That's why everything feels like it either one shots you or does nothing. Which is what they wanna prevent in PoE 2, at least in the beginning, from what they were saying. We'll see how we'll see how they manage. Ah, this boss is too annoying, it's too spread out. My ballistas are too fucky there. I mean, you can go the Torchlight way, where like glancing makes it 100%, right? And then it's just a like, damage reaction, which like, I don't know if that's a good way to fix block. But honestly, at this point, I'm kind of down for them to just buff block. I was very surprised when they added instant... Uh, life master, uh, instant leech life mastery. And like life gain on hit is pretty much the same though. Like right now, ten percent instant leech is just what. Uh, like thirty-seven life on hit is that what it is? I think that's how it calculates, right? So that's not that insane when you put it that way. Like it's good, but it's not that insane. But now even spells get it sometimes, like very easily. Well. Not very easily. Getting life leech on spells is still kinda hard, never mind. I think the last statement I take back, but I mean if you compare it to like excessive sus sustenance, right? Like instant leech doesn't seem that broken. But when you are hitting like twenty mobs, suddenly you are healing for like two K with every attack, so that's why V feels so much stronger in maps, or at least recovery wise. Then we used a while ago. And time! Slash devs! Four! Honestly, not bad. Slash plate. Slash passives? I didn't even check if I got all. I did. Honestly, four devs? Seven hours? Like what, 20 minutes? What did we die to? We died to Betrayal twice, we died to... Underground River Boss, which <laughs> we got baited by a map that dropped. 
And... Oh, we died to Gravishes early. But yeah, overall, decent run. I don't think I would change too much, but I might try some other skills to test out if anything is better than Lightning Arrow. Doubt it, but, you know, might test it out. 